Hello, hello. Testing? Testing? You guys here? Things working? I restarted OBS. Sounds fine to you. Okay. How's the delay? Oh yeah, that's good now. Okay, I have no idea what caused that delay. It, I guess it was the program. Uh, I may have to test with that later. Uh, Your Majesty, we in the March have finished a complete reorganization of our new army. It's truly a powerful beast now. It's very lovely. Yes, okay, I'm looking at my preview and it's working. A, it's a lot more caught up. I wonder why that happened. It's interesting. Moreover, I was hoping the Crown might be willing to host some military exercise. The soldiers are restless. The delay is about three seconds or so. That, that's much better. More wars. Um... You want me to start a war? We're gonna do war. Welcome back, Macedon. I think you guys are fine, but you may want to fix the extension might require to do it. Join again. I don't know. We just need a suitable campaign to wet our swords and spears. An unbloodied army isn't worth its salt, I say. Nice and peppy now. Awesome. That's good to know. That's weird. I don't know why it ha that happened. What the council thinks. Instead of a costly war, your highness, we should we could establish some mercenary companies to fight abroad and take a healthy cut of the profits. Or if your majesty wished to gain something more than gold, we could use our might as intended and make inroads into Talvion, where the meager army will surely be no match. So Talvion is a smaller nation, right? To the west? So now we're dueling for a while. Well, yeah, probably no more dueling for a little bit, King Israel. We'll see, though. Not, not this stream. I may see if I can't fix it next stream. Excuse me. Because I don't think it messed with the other stream. The text delay is like one second, says Justinian. Okay. So Justinian's like really caught up. Uh, how can the crown help the barons provide their new troops with su suitable field training? Okay. Yeah, it's like one or two seconds for me now. Okay, I don't know. Well, I'm glad it's working now. It must be the program or something. Don't do B, says Macedon. B sounds kind of fun. Could do a full scale invasion of the Ashmedi Empire. What do you guys want to do? What happens at B? B is real bad, says Overshade, really. They have a massive spy network. Oh, okay, yeah, let's go see then. <laughs> I don't want to mess with spies. Uh, yeah, it is tiny. It is small, right? I don't want to. I'd rather go major war instead of border to dispute with spy. Anything but B, says that Macedon. Let's fight the Ashmedians again! They might pay me for cake and sprite. <laughs> okay, says King. <laughs> You'd be easy to bribe. King Israel, is that what you're saying? Okay, continue. Embark on a full-scale invasion of the Ashmedian Empire. This can't be bad for us. Who knows? We'll see. You'll see. That's all. Let's teach those Ashmedian dogs a lesson without, uh, for existing without our permission. Building now civil, building now stable. Uh, Finds not loyal. Authority is not credible. Willfully misinterpreting a standard political, standard diplomatic message as a grave insult, you send a declaration of war to the Ashmedian Empire. You've never seen the Baron so excited. Hey, Barons, I trust you to do this, otherwise we're all dead. Hope you know that. Uh, here's Count King Israel. He strides into the council chambers, distraught, waving a dead rat by its tail. Here's the main character. You look awesome, King Israel, by the way. Epic. The fields and barns of the east are overrun by vermin, and we have we have no more poison for these horrible things. We can't cope anymore. Found some kin of his. Yeah, he did. I look noise, says King Israel. You do. Um, should we say, take that rat and go. The East can handle this alone. Deliver a supply of rat poison. Send them a shipment of cats. Hire some adventurers to clear out the rodents. What shall we do? Well, I wanted to know the event of Talvion. I really saw a war against them. I kind of do just the casual businessman too, but it seems like things just go awful. King of Israel says, always go cats. I think we went cats last time, and that didn't really do anything, did it? 
I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe cats. I'll let you guys decide. I have no opinion on this. We could do cats, so we can say take the rat and go. These can handle this. They can maybe handle it. Justinian thinks they can handle it. Macedon says send a shipment of cats. Overshade says deliver rat poison. Uh, Baron goes C. And so does King Israel. Yep. Cats. Casual business event also goes C. Looks like we're going to send them some cats. Tenu. Is there going to be another game after King of the Castle today, or is it full of King of the Castle? Um, I'm not sure. I think we may stick with King of the Castle. We'll see. We'll see after we finish the game if anyone's filling up for another game. Because I'm afraid if I deviate too much, people aren't going to care too much. Uh, Count King Israel bows to you deeply. Can't thank you enough, Your Highness. I'm willing to play Stellaris. I do like grand strategy games. It's just they're kind of hard to stream because they're so long. Um, I'm down for anything, my friend. Okay, King. I do like. I'm glad you guys are cool with it. Uh, we we could maybe. Either that, or we end we end the same time, and I can go like, make, more program stuff for the, uh, code, and maybe get it fixed. Not stream number ten. Well, I do not care, so yeah. So this is bread, yeah. Some people aren't going to care for the big... Or do you say you don't care for the... Uh, I don't know. We could do a, a strategy game or something. Just I don't typically stream for a terrible long amount of time, so I'm not sure how much we'll be able to get done. And I don't think a lot of people are here wanting to sit down and watch me play a long-term strategy game. I don't mind playing it with other people. I'm fine with that. It's just I don't know how much stream content we can get out of it. Uh, by the time they reach their destination, they're both hungry and very angry. The perfect rat catching mindset. Oh. Go cats. Soon the rats are gone, and most of the households in the east are, have a very satisfied cat guarding their food. We hope kittens don't become a problem. Okay, that's great. Good job. I'd enjoy to play CK3 again. I'm up for anything though. You should do a Darkest Dungeon 2 and name us the character. That'd be kind of cool. I, I'm fine with them. Um, I'd be fine with that too. Overshade says, time with our little community is fine with me. Yeah, we could. All right. I'm, I'd actually be fine with anything, really. As long as our little community is cool with it. Uh, who cares about people who join in? Yeah, this is a small community. We could do like a do a game and name people after the viewers. But if CK3 somebody else host, okay, this is Overshade. Yeah. CK number? Huh? <laughs> you couldn't do three? Yeah, Crusader Kings 3. Do you know what that is, Mastodon? Eh. Crusader Kings 3. Apparently Baron's playing it. Yeah. We tried a little bit of this last stream. Bear, or, uh, Overshade was hosting. And it was kind of fun, but it was a bit slow. I'll turn it off. You so little order. Big two is tin cad. What does that mean? And you're like, <laughs> hey. My library is perfectly ordered. What are you talking about? Wonderful library order. <laughs> Sorry, it's three thirty Canadian dollars. Yeah, I think it's like fifty dollars or something. I don't know for America. I could be wrong. It's a little expensive, but it's it's pretty fun. Your Majesty, it's important you find a spouse sooner rather than later. Oh, Victoria two. Oh, okay. I don't think Victoria two might be thirty dollars too, or twenty dollars in U.S. I think it might be thirty. I got some fine collections, says Overshade. Oh, tell me more about your collection. Uh, I'll take any. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'll send out messengers to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. My library. So you marry my kid again, says King Israel. Maybe. Easy enough citizen. You'll decision. You'll marry to the barons as we agreed before you took the throne, right? Right. I might marry your kid again, again, King Israel. We'll have to see what they are like. 
Hidden in a labyrinth beneath an eastern castle, a pair of counts meet to speak of their schemes against the queen. Didn't he marry mine? Oh, do my kid or once. What? <laughs> do my kid or once. There is also um, another game I like, which would be kind of fun. Uh, what is it called? Mountain Blade? Like the Bannerlord. It's pretty cool. There's actually a mod of it that I have. Oh, Toho Project is getting an army. I like the Toho. Tribe items. Not recruit everyone. Distinguished service would be kind of fun. Uh, distinguished soldiers in Bannerlord. Basically, like, regular soldiers can become followers. And I can rename you guys. That'd be kind of cool if we did that. But uh, we'll see. We'll have to have, like, a vote or something in Discord. Bannerlord is a W. Yeah, I do like Bannerlord. It's fun. I'm currently playing Madden and King of the Castle at the same time, says King Ezra. Wow, okay. Oh, thank you for following, Brad. I appreciate it. Thanks for have, being with us. Yeah, if you mix that with army creator thing, you can make some pretty crazy companions. Yeah. I don't think I've tried army creator thing, but yeah. The, the companions get pretty strong. Not anymore. Chancellor sent me a fruit basket last week to thank us for our efforts for helping the crown. It's working. Our, our reputation is secure. Our problem now is the archbishop. His beady little eyes will be focused on us if we're not careful. We must evade him at all costs. For the next stage of their scheme, the Counts must lower their faith to four or less in four seasons. Okay, so they want to bring down their faith. Uh, Overshade said I could tax him, I think. Or no. Nah, we good. We good with what? You want to get taxed? Who wants to get taxed? Stone count. Give money. <laughs> I didn't say that. I thought you said something about taxing. Maybe it was during the uh, the uh, what is it? Taking taking a bodyguard or something. You said if I went coast, you the barons would. Did you not? Am I am I misremembering wrong? Mastodon says not lowering faith. Okay, thank you for not lowering faith. We want to keep those those stats up. Sorry about that. Your Majesty, you are imagining things. Oh my gosh. Overshade. <laughs> You're lucky I'm too um, too lazy to go back in the chat to look for it. Justine says the other one. Pretty sure he did say that, says Baron. I think, yeah, Baron says you know. I'm poor, so <laughs> King Israel, are you really poor? You're kind of poor compared to people who just join or like I guess the people who have been in for a long time you are very poor need to play it all right I think we'll just do a common tax then I don't need the money Where's Baron? Josh gaslighting in progress <laughs> in progress don't gaslight me overshade all right we'll do a we'll do a common tax there's no read to, reason to get y'all angry. <laughs> uh, the patricians want me to go lower to 1500. What if I bribed the counts to bring down their defiance? I don't know. We haven't had a civil war in a while. We've only had one civil war in all of our games. I'll, I'll do a common. Never really been a problem. I never saw someone using this option. What's a really bad option? It worked. Okay. All right, Overshade. I can rebel if you want. <laughs> I mean, you guys can choose a rebel or not. I, I'm not saying I want a rebellion. I'm just saying we haven't had a lot of rebellions, you know? Uh, let's look at... War with Ashmi. Let's do that first. One more civil war, anyone? Okay, let's not get too crazy about a civil war real quick. Take some time before we think about civil war, please. Go for quick peace in the war, says Overshade. Are you sure? Uh, you should have been. You should have seen the look on the Ashmian diplomat's face when I told him we were declaring war on his pathetic empire. Kicked him in the rump as he left for good measure. Uh, exactly. How capable is the Ashmian uh, military? 
we will make them pick that. Be careful what you wish for, says King Israel. <laughs> oh no. I want to protect my estates, says Overshade. Okay. We, we may go for a little quick war then. The Ashmedian Empire Golden... Em the Ashmedian Empire's Golden Age is long behind it. They're still bigger than us with more soldiers and a long history of conquest, but they lack discipline and are plagued by infighting. Civil war during the war with Ashmead sounds awful, Estonian. I don't know about that. Fortunately, the Kingdom's armies will have not have looked so formidable in a long time. I think we can win this. News of the war inspires a wave of patriotic fervor, fervor across the Kingdom. Uh, old knights come out of retirement and naive youth stampede to join the army. Hopefully it'll prove enough. Okay, so military is now 10-10-10. Cool. Here's just a casual business man. Rest assured, your highness, you'll have full support in this war. What's our opening gambit? Okay. So we can have the spy master send assassins to Saboteur and to Ashmead. We can send a small expeditionary force to test the Empire's strength. Begin a full and scale invasion or call upon the church to declare a holy crusade. That sounds kind of cool. My father taught me a lot about the first Ashmead war. <laughs> Did, he... <laughs> Did he tell you how to become a traitor over shade? Be, be a coward? No. I'm sure your, your, your father was it. Your father fought in the Ashmead War, so he's probably pretty cool. Not many good things, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so do we want to send a expeditionary force? That's a pretty good chance. The Cru Holy Crusade is kind of cool, but I feel like that has a p very good potential of ending badly. I don't trust that 70%. We don't talk about the first. Yeah, because it backfired. That first war was awful. When I played Longsword, I had three-way civil war, and Storm Kingdom had four-way war. Cool. Is that the, uh, what is it? Equestria at War? Is that what you're talking just to me or something else? Okay, Equestria at War. Um, I'll do a call for Unity. I, what do you guys fill in? Yes, okay. Three ways of war. Like the, the Spanish Civil War, right? Nahoy? I don't know if they have the Civil War actually got that chaotic. Everyone fighting. Okay, uh, what do we want to go for, guys? Do we want military? Holy Crusade? Or should we just begin? Father loves eating cinnamon toast crunch. I love cinnamon toast crunch. Spanish is four away in Hawaii for Yeah. D does look cool. You guys can pick that if you want. It may not end out well, though. Um let you guys Macedon and Justin are going D Overshade goes for B Baron goes for D just a casual okay we want the Holy Crusade seems like that's what people want yeah King Ezreal also we're going for the Holy Crusade guys continue For too long have those Ashmedian heathens been allowed to venerate their false god, Aldo Vaga. We will convert them with fire and sword. <laughs> Faith challenge succeeded. Stability is now civil. Uh, where is your common sense, says Overshade? Then he says, never mind. Every game we do it ends with war, some war at point. some point. Yeah. We have no common sense. We're, we're going to go on a crusade. A crusade triggers a shockwave across the kingdom. Dozens of holy orders turn up to supplement your regular forces. Shining knights on armored deserteers battle nuns in steel mass. Warrior monks with bald heads and bad attitudes. Whoa. <laughs> I can work with this. Military can't go any higher. I'll start marshalling our troops. The Empire is no easy target. We have only one chance to get this right. Now here's just a casual businessman. Nonsense. One swift kick and the whole house of cards will tumble down. Wait and see. We are paradox players. We love war. That is true. <laughs> Do like war. Fun. Uh, hopefully we win this. I mean, people are ready. A petitioner from afar. Uh, Your Majesty, there's a petitioner here to see you today. We're not exactly sure where she's from. What does she want? You'll see, you'll see soon enough, Your Majesty. Okay. 
Greetings, Your Majesty. I am Oriad. Uh, I have a proposition for you, Oriad. Um, Oriad, where are you from? Wink, wink. Maybe we could go for Oriad. I like their games, but not their DLC. <laughs> Rip wallet. Yeah. Overshade, you're correct. Uh, the DLC is crazy expensive when you try to buy them all for a Paradox game. Have you seen, like... Actually, you know what is really crazy for DLC? Sims 3 DLC. Um, if I were to buy all of the Sims 3 DLC... Let me look it up. Sims 3. Because I have all the Sims 3. I, I love Sims 3. I was a big fan of it. But if I were to buy all of the Sims 3 DLC, it'd almost be $400. Not including the game, which is about $400. Check Sims 4. Sims 4 even more. Very full game, yeah. Let's check Sims 4. It's, it, it, don't tell me Sims 4 is even more. You're kidding me if it is. Um. Oh my gosh. Wh what the heck? What? You're kidding me. No. You can't be serious. That's insanity. A thousand one hundred and forty-four dollars? What? You could... Huh? EA. It is EA. No wonder why people buy it. Jeez. Yeah, no wonder. What the heck? Dude. It's like a down payment, nearly. <laughs> a thousand... A thousand <laughs> what? Dude, yeah. Forget about $60 like games that come out you want to get sims 4 the whole thing one thousand one hundred and forty four dollars jeez some countries that's more than you make a year yeah that's true like that's that's insane so the base game is free now lol okay just to get you in there i see i i was a bit surprised that it was free but looking at this i kind of understand now oh my gosh what the heck I didn't know it was that bad. Distant Shores, Your Majesty. <laughs> the first one's free, kids. <laughs> you know, they aren't telling me yet. Re huh? Really? The first I paid $20 and then made... Ah, yeah, that's true. Because I did buy it as well. Ah, and they just add horses. Man, EA... EA smart. There's a meme... Here, what's that EA meme? Um, what is it? Oh yeah, either way. This meme right here. Uh, <laughs> this is what I think. Flying is free. Landing costs money. Thanks, EA. You're the best. I love you. Okay. Prepare to keep my exact origins a secret. Who are you exactly? I hope they don't give that idea to cigarette brands. Oh no. Honestly, Overshade? I, I could see it happening somehow. I know there's like a minimum cost or something that they have. Uh, that's like state laws or whatever. But I feel like they could somehow get around it. Or yet is a traitor to curse as just Oh, thanks Justine for the heads up. Oh wait. Oh, one second. Um, you're a woman, says Baron. I am a woman. Their war on Kurth and the Ashbuti and Mole. Too bad military is maxed out already. This is a great event. That is true. <laughs> we can marry Oria. That is true. I can. Uh, tell me more about this proposition. Three ships are docked in a harbor in the, to the west. Their holds are packed to the gills with muskets and gunpowder. And they each boast a full battery of cannons. They are all yours in return for a small favor. Marry her. I want to get some muskets. What is this favor? What would I do with the muskets? I'll fit your armies with them, your majesty. They are powerful weapons, enough to give you an edge over your enemies. Man, I wish we, we could go over 10. I wish we could, like, 
stockpile stats. But no, yet. I only wish to stay in this kingdom with your blessing and protection. I can show your shoulders how soldiers how to use the weapons, of course, to avoid any accidents. Fine, I'll call a vote. We are wingmen for you. Don't have failed us. Go D, aka prison. We can take a pr prisoner. At a lower stability, which is not what I want, though. Uh, now we do an A. Yeah, we can do A. This Baron. Marry Orion. We can marry her. You want to do A? You aren't. You can take her and sell her off later, says Macedon. Really? I like money for achievement. User vote on A, lol. <laughs> A, okay, so we can do imprison her or marry her? <laughs> should we smash or should we pashed? Nope. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? You can't marry her now, why not? I'm not married, I haven't chosen yet, have I? I don't think I've... Have I had that event yet? Oh, get her then. A. Hey. No. Yeah, I don't think I've married yet. I'm high. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. We can. I'll start a vote. I'll let you guys decide. Uh, smash or pass? You can do a divorce. Oh, can you? I mean, there's no point really. Keep increasing military. <laughs> Give me muskets, please. Okay, voting is closed. Oriad and her weapons prove most useful in the coming months. She and her crew train your officers as promised. Oriad demonstrates by puncturing a metal breastplate at 500 yards. The council has clearly made the right decision. Yeah, we get religious zealots and guns now. Muskets! Yes. Legal in Canada, so you might be. <laughs> Have you been... You've been doing a bit too much, Mastodon. Found three potential matches for you. One eligible young candidate. So we're not going to marry anyone because we can marry her, right? What if I don't want to marry any of them? That's a decision that can wait after you've seen them, isn't it? Okay. Chancellor leads you to a great hall where they've arranged three portraits on easels. For now, each is covered by cloth. Yeah, let's see them. Might be is in. They whisk away the, first, the cloth of the first person. It's just the Via, the eldest heir of the Eastern King Israel dynasty. In their youth, they ran off and tried to. In their youth, they ran off and tried to join a circus. They found him in the end. Thank the night. There's King Israel. Fight for all. There is an achievement if you marry Oriad. We can look real quick, but I, yeah, Overshade says yep. Yeah. Okay. They have a laboratory installed in their castle and spend most of their time conducting bizarre experiments. They. Got in some trouble with the Inquisition a while ago, but then it didn't come to anything. Intriguing. So we may just go for Oriad then. Then, um, from the coast we have Aurelia, a wealthy heiress to Lord Patrician Baron's estate. I mean, just look at her; she's gorgeous, and apparently she's got a silver tongue too. Or a pirate queen. So she... Okay. Also obsessed with air at the arena. All her friends are gladiators, and sometimes she even enters a fight herself. <laughs> Apparently she has a dark side, though. I don't know much more about that. Cool. And we have the Marcher's Offering. Leopold, sign of the prestigious Bread Bloodline. A typical Baron, really. Loud, brash, and self-absorbed, but mostly well-meaning. He set up his own mercenary company for a while and did good business. That's all over now, though. He's got a reputation for not giving a damn what anyone thinks of him. Sounds like a laugh. What do you think? Okay. Um, so what are we thinking? No marriage, or...? Or we do marry. Wait for Oriad or nah. No marriage to the Baron. I'm back. Who is the East? King Israel, it's yours. It is yours. We we can wait for Oriad or no marriage. Yeah, no marriage. Seems like people want no marriage. My boy got shot down as 
<laughs> Rejected by a coast lady. Not married. Yep. Okay, we can go with... We can refuse. Just say... I refuse to marry any of them. Not our marriage, I'll be alone. Um, marriage would weigh me down. <laughs> I want a party. I think is the right way. Yeah. I see. For far be it for me, the question might be. I feel bad for the Chancellor. He just wants what's best for us, but nah. Just say nah, no. Good luck in the days ahead, you'll need it. No marriage is someone starting with a K will rebel for some reason. A K. Deep in the back rooms of the royal palace, the marcher barons are poring over secret letters, scribbled diagrams. On the wall is a cork board filled with pins and crisscrossed by colored string. The queen refuses to marry, despite everyone's advice. She's better. She's she'd better get at least on with finding an heir, or all of our heads will be on the chopping block. Uh, too right. The counts have been unusually quiet recently. They've been trying to get into the queen's good books, but I can't work out why. They've. We've, then we got to keep up our efforts. Queen Gloria isn't going anywhere on our watch. The barons must continue to aid the queen. Uh, by countering the other region's schemes. They will win the game if the queen produces an heir and completes their her ambition. Okay, okay. In a dingy seaside tavern, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. Terrible news. The kingdom prospers. Uh, the kingdom prospers. The treasury is practically overflowing. I didn't expect the new queen to be competent, says Justine. And here's Baron. Okay. Nobody did. We must work harder to bankrupt her. Patrician's aim is to lower treasury to 1500 or less. Okay. Ooh. Authority or royal gamble? Imagine a crusade with a, <laughs> with a ton of muskets. It's funny. Yeah. It is actually amazing. I love it. Uh, I think I might go with authority. Just to keep our kingdom afloat. I don't know if money is really what we need right now, right? Royal Gamble, you'll need the money. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess we will need the money for the war. I'll get rid of Monarch's vote then. Maybe we'll get authority next time. I, I agree with you. Um, Should we do the invading of the Empire first? I think that makes sense. And then if any stats fall, we can maybe do the other events to rectify it. Yeah, that sounds good. Your Majesty, our troops are amassing on the, at the Ashmedian border. Soon we'll cross over and the war will begin in earnest. What are my instructions? Oh yay, we can fight with honor and respect civilian lives. Sounds kind of nice, you know? Shouldn't be afraid to get our hands a little dirty, or no mercy, no quarter. What does the what does the crusade of musketeers and religious zealots say? C C C says Baron. <laughs> Last time we did the war, we go to C. Overshade says B for better chance. Don't be afraid to get our hands dirty. B says better chance. Macedon says A. I do kind of trust Macedon. He seems to have good advice. There is no laws in war, Batman. <laughs> Mask go B, please, says Overshade. Seems like Overshade wants B. Uh, would it be okay if we went B? We went C last time, and that war ended up awful. Who will you rule over if you kill them, says Mastodon. That is true. Veto C. I might. I don't really... I like C. E C is funny. I like it. But I kind of do want to do this right this time. We want to make this kingdom, like, perfect utopia. Not for a faith fight. It's funny. <laughs> it is funny. I find it very hilarious when we go, you know, and murder all the citizens. Ain't trying if you don't get your hands dirty. Yeah, we can get our hands dirty if you want. Mastodon says not for a faith war. Yeah, true. It's not for a faith war. If we kill every, If we kill everyone, who will we convert, right? Just a casual businessman says we should go A. 
Kill them all and end the non-believers. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay, Overshade. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> your mother lol. What? Ain't trying if you aren't traumatized by your friends choking on their own blood. Okay, are we going B or A? What are people thinking? If we do A, fight with honor and respect, civ respect civilian lives. That might, that might put us at a disadvantage, but that might give us the high ground, you know? B is fine. Ain't trying to... We don't put Royal on B. Go for B for best chances. Okay, we'll do B then. Royal Gamble on B. Alright. Let's go 1066 on them. Alright. We go B! We'll fight a little dirty. Steaming in the ghosty. Shall the, the Crusades break, begin? What is it? The, clo the Clone Wars began. What? Oh, no, the Clone Wars. Bruce Loom is ours! <laughs> Giving the kingdom why? We need money for the war, Justinian. Nobody is always innocent. Very sensible policy. In warfare, there are times to be brutal and times to be merciful. You can trust me until the two apart. We're all in this together, guys. Just a little genocide. It's still good. It's still good. Yeah, I mean, if it's in the in the name of the ninth, uh, the ninth will smile on our genocide. <laughs> okay. Will you be coming with me to the front lines, Your Majesty? It could get dicey. I think I'll come with, right? No, I, I, I'm not a coward. Fight. This is way... This is just too funny. <laughs> the scene of song stuck in my head. Now. Oh, boy. I'll, yeah, we'll fight. I'll come with you. But war! Accompanied by the marshal and a regiment of the palace soldiers, you ride out to the front lines to lead the invasion into Empire territory. If, if you don't murder a church full of civilians, the ninth will look down upon us. Yeah, we must murder for the ninth. Don't be a coward like your mom. <laughs> Fight for Sparta. Okay. My mom's not a coward. Uh, mostly, most of Ashmead is a scorching hot desert dotted with the rusted hulks of strange machines. Why do we want to rule this place? Rivers of rivers crisscross in the arid landscape like tangled serpents. Glittering towns of marble crowded on their banks. The marcher soldiers are awaiting you, led by Baron Overshade Shadow the Third. Overshade, you're gonna make up for your father's past tran transgressions against the crowd. Or crown, sorry. Okay, so time to teach those ass median scum some manners. We'll lead the charge. <laughs> oh yes. There, I said it. You did. Deserts usually have valuable resources, or desolate wastes where everything dies. Oh yeah. Hopefully, there's valuable resources here. Best chance, you're right, Overshade. Lead the charge. It's eerily quiet once you cross over into Ashmead, but not for long. My liege, duck. I duck. An arrow zips past your head, followed by another arrow and another. Ambush, ambush, says the marshal. They have golems. Ashmead cavalry wielding flashing scimitars riding on skinny white horses burst from the nearby tree line. Your troops rally around you. The battle is fragmented in your memory. Flashes of blood and screaming horses whizzing and whizzing arrows, but you triumph. Good work, your majesty. The way is clear. Onwards to victory. Over the next few weeks, you win several key battles and capture half a dozen castles. The marshal fights cleverly, but dishonorably, attacking on Ashmean and Holy Days and using civilians as human shields. Good job, marshal. Uh, such tactics are considered beneath a queen's dignity, but the victories cannot be denied. You also liberate a substantial sum from the enemy's fortresses. With the war going well and duty calling back to the capital, you decide to travel home with wagon loads of gold. Wow, gold. Sounds like a skill issue to me. Can we get some golems? Safe travels, your majesty, and take heed. The Ashmedians won't give up that easily, unfortunately. We took them by surprise. Now they're going to start fighting seriously. Hey. Okay. Uh, an exotic plant. Good job, guys. You did well. I love the Ashmedian donation. Aw, oh, it was very kind of them to give us money. You know, 
a donation of sorts. We just had to go over in their territory to go pick it up, you know. But otherwise, you know, I was very generous of them. Uh, Baron Bread strides into the council chamber, brandishing a clay pot from which grows a long leafy plant with floppy yellow flowers. They forgot to pay their tithes. <laughs> yeah. To the ninth. Our expert farmers have discovered a new kind of plant, Your Highness. Thought you might like to name this new exciting discovery. Okay, what should we name the plant? Let me take a drink real quick. Oh yes, they love that donation. <laughs> yeah, they love the ninth. <laughs> MC Miss Mc McPlace uh Mc McPlant face. I'm glad they donated land and money. Yes. They just love the ninth. They love the kingdom too. Uh, all we had to do is go and advertise the ninth over in their land, and they were like, oh yeah, you can have this land and money. Church is happy. Church is very happy. Should we let Baron name it uh, himself, or should we name it something? Royal Ivy. Overshade says Ivy. I think I'll go with Overshade. We'll do Royal Ivy. Majestic. I like it. This stuff grows wonderfully fast. It tastes horrible, but the farm animals don't mind. I suggest we grow it in the march as livestock feed. Or perhaps it would make a, a nice addition to the palace decor. Yeah, we could seize the royal ivy crop from the barrens and plant it in the palace. Cultivate it in the march or ban the crop, it could be dangerous. What do you guys want? Pretty sure if we take it to the palace, bad stuff happens. But I don't think I've had that. B, B, B. We can cultivate in the march. That sounds pretty good. I'll let you guys vote. You have max farming. That is true, Baron, but there are events that come after it if we go B. Okay, Baron and Macedon are going A. They want it in the Royal Palace. Justinian goes B with just a casual businessman. Feed me, Seymour. <laughs> what? Any more votes? <laughs> Like we're gonna go B, cultivate it in the march. March your farmers plant the fields plant fields of royal ivy to support their livestock. Alright, things are going good. You guys don't want to have fun? What? Spread <laughs> no fun please. <laughs> no, the march just want their plants. It spreads alarmingly fast, and pastures become known as Royal Ivy Sea. Uh, villagers claim we could walk for a day and not reach the end. A lot of plant. Private exchange. I declined my vote, lol, since I was busy eating cakes. It's oh, I'm sorry, King Israel. Maybe I should have waited on you. I'm glad you're enjoying cake, though. I had an Eastern mother. Till a werewolf ate her. <laughs> yeah. I wonder who that werewolf was. The Kurth captain that you allowed to stay in the capital, and the one who traded those weapons, she has been the cause of some concern. Nobles have complained that she's been rude and comprehensive. She does not know a royal etiquette, after all. Worse, some suspect her of being a cursed uh, curse spy. I have a word with her, I think. Robokin mommy, no. Can I help? Kurth bounty hunters landed on the coast not long ago. I see where you're going with this. Exactly, they're looking for me. I did not expect them to come here. Clearly, I was wrong. God, I hate myself. <laughs> we can say stay with me. I think we could do tell me what you did and I might help you first. Women though. <laughs> Baron. Stay with me, says Macedon. What do you guys think? What is does anyone else have any input? 
My father really liked Eastern mom women. Not not mommy, but women. You don't care what she did. Kinda of though. Do what he said. Oh, anyway, we'll stay with that. You sure? I am the queen. There is nowhere safer. Very well. I hope my trust is not misplaced. Okay. Uh, and <laughs> I remember the Grandy War. I mean, sleepovers. Yeah. Okay, sleepovers. Yes. Granny said a lot of sleepovers. Um, the bounty hunters. Let's look at this first. Your Majesty, these good folk are bounty hunters. They are representing the Republic of Kurth, they say. Queen Gloria, we humbly we greet you humbly. How may I help you? Uh, tell me more about Kurth. Lovely this time of year. You should visit. Lots of rain, but we make do. More, more important matters. We are searching for someone a fugitive, you might say. Last we heard, she went by the name of Oria. I'm afraid she is under my protection. As we feared. Still, perhaps we can work out a deal. The Grand Pensieri of Kurth is offering a large bounty for her, the return of this woman, and we are sure that an esteemed queen such as yourself would not risk drawing Kurth's ire. Had an uncle from the coast tell werewolf. Funny that, huh? <laughs> the werewolves just hate your dynasty, Evershade. As proof of our goodwill, we'll even allow you to keep the farms that were stolen. If we can hand Oriad over them, that's a good amount of money. If we can refuse the bounty hunter's offer, or can discreetly pay the hunters to take someone else. We shall raise military, but... Yeah. We have max military. What do you guys want to do? C says Baron. I like C. Royal C. Lol. Okay, we can do C. <laughs> you good with C? I might want to do a call for unity because I do need to get my stability up just a little bit more, just in case we have a stability event soon. Do I do a royal or a stability check? Does anyone really care? Maybe because my grand grand or my great great. Grandfather was a famous monster hunter. Oh, I see. Maybe that's why the werewolves hate you. Royal. Okay, we'll do royal. Let's see. You introduce this just to catch businessmen out. We'll get the money in first. I like money. I do like hunting werewolf, though. <laughs> Okay, we're going to see. We need to get Golden Choice. Yeah, excuse me. Really pay the hunters to take someone else. The bounty hunters do not take long to consider your offer. They return to Kurth at the head of a nameless prisoner. You hope the offic officials back in the Republic will be none the wiser. Oriad decides to stay in the kingdom, offering her advisory service to your navy as payment for sparing her. <laughs> we have, our military is too strong. Um, let's do conquest after conquest. Your Majesty, the Ashmini War goes well. One by one, the northern provinces are falling under our control. Perhaps now is the time to make our demands. I couldn't agree more. Our luck will soon run out. Or our luck will run out soon. Now that we're taking on so much territory, the Ashmini General will abandon their internal squabbles and come after us seriously. Your Majesty, says just a casual businessman, Ashmini has revealed its secret weapon. Our troops were attacked by a... Order of Holy Warriors known as Count Dalvaga's Heralds. They have some kind of earthquake maker. It opened up it opened up cracks beneath our soldiers' feet. Oh shoot. Hundreds of our best soldiers died. Falling into the abyss, crushed by rock falls. We should have done this event before. Oh darn it! <laughs> we should have done this event before we did the um Oriad one. Oops. An earthquake maker. Yay, my liege. A big clay pot taller than a man when they open when they opened the lid, Earthquake ravaged the surrounding land. It only, oh, you're right. It only did raise the Pat's military, so it wouldn't matter. Oh well. It makes me feel a little bit better. Thank you. <laughs> That's where the eagle came from. Man, Baron is now weakest military somehow. 
But I didn't expect him to resort to magic. We need to do something. Okay. Next battle, deploy a strike force to smash the pot. Train the soldiers how to fight during either earthquakes or withdraw from the captured territory to negotiate peace. So we can straight up and smash the pot, or I think B will give us a better chance in our next roll. C is, nah, we're not doing C, right? We're not going to withdraw from our captured territory. What do you guys feel in? I do a call for unity, but do we want to do A or B? I think A is a little bit riskier, but we have a better chance. A or B. No, we have a better chance on B, but I think A gives us better reward, maybe. B won't give you odds, you think. Well, will it not? Should we do A then? I thought B gave us odds or something. I forget. We've had this event before. How do you know it's better? Welcome, Sai. It doesn't say. It doesn't, but I think there's an event after this that said. I could be wrong. Oh, I, I haven't seen this one? Okay. I think last time we did train the soldiers how to fight during earthquakes. And there's like another roll after it. 70% <laughs> works 100% of the time. You're right, King Israel. It'll be a roll after. Yeah. So I'll, I'll leave you guys to decide. We can either do A and take the risk, or we can go B and we may sustain damage. I'm not sure. I forget how this works. That's up to y'all. How are you, Sai? Did Sai join or... Yeah, Sai's a patrician. Welcome back, Sai. Baron and Justinian are going A. Overshade's going B. Yeah, A could probably kill us, though, if we fail it. If we XCOM it, it could be our downfall. If we lose more marcher military, it could be the end of us. Okay, or it looks like we're going A. We're gonna smash that pot. XCOM. Uh, in the next battle against Kaldava's Heralds, you send a small team of highly trained knights to charge behind the enemy lines, fight their way to the pot, and smash it to pieces. Mil military challenge succeeded. Stability is now steady. Not my pot! <laughs> we got their pot. It works like a charm. A hell of arrows scatter the pot's guards, and your knights descend with hammers, <laughs> smashing it to bits. <laughs> Green glowing ghosts swirl from the pottery shards and vanish. The gourd goes still. The earthquake ceases. Your troops slam into Kaldov's heralds like a hammer hitting jelly, sending them in scattering. Victory! We're the best! If I were in the Emperor's shoes, I'd be thinking about suing for peace right now. But we haven't received any word from their ambassador. They must really hate us. Oh yeah, I bet they do. Okay, we need to get March's military back up. Because 8 is not acceptable. We need 10. Somehow. Your Majesty, I was going through the history books and found the most interesting tidbit. During the reign of Queen Iga, the kingdom held a huge parade in honor of all the regions coming together. It was called the Day of Kinship, and it was quite the party. Oh yeah, this bankrupt us last time. Or like, last 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 time I think we had this event, it killed me. <laughs> Small No, King Israel. We're gonna party. That sounds exciting. Visitors flocked up to the capital and the city flourished. It made things much more harmonious across the kingdom too. Do it. Never need a reason to party. Let's do it. Wonderful, Your Majesty. The question is, how much money should you spend on the Day of Kinship? I'm sure the nobles will have opinions on the subject. So we can say money is no object, only the finest parade in the crown. It's a 2,000. That's not bad. The queen should spend a respectable amount on this. Or go for the cheaper. Let's go A. Money is no object, guys. We're going to party like it's like it's the year 1,000. Year 999. I'll let you guys decide. But I think A. We can spend the money for it. We got the money. We got money. We deserve a break after the after the battles we won with Ashmead. Party like it's 1066, yep. <laughs> By the way, the new FNAF DLC camp. To be honest, I don't know much about FNAF Overshade. I haven't been keeping up with it ever since it got real popular back in like what? 2018 or something, 17? Maybe before that, I'm not sure. My friend played it a lot, but I was never really big into it. Money is no object, only the finest parade for the crown. 
Holy warriors with muskets beat earthquake. Yeah, exactly, just a casual businessman. You got it. The treasurer looks worried, but scribbles down notes. Dude, we have the money. Mine's is now loyal. Yeah, everyone's happy. Stilt walkers, contortionists. Excellent. I'll make the arrangements directly. She and the chancellor leave in deep conversation. Soon the word of the day of kinship spreads all across the kingdom. Guests are already planning their outfits. And this kingdom, this kingdom business, going pretty good, guys. Um, things are going great, actually. So we can go lower stability. <laughs> Please don't do that. Lower authority. I don't really care about authority too much. Increase farming. We could use some more farming in the Count's territory. Decrease faith? Nah. The Counts do want that, but I don't think we necessarily want that, really. Increase faith with the Cathedral or increase stability. Um, I like the farming and faith. Just to get our stats back up, we want to get that all 10. Go C and E. This is Overshade. I agree with Overshade here. Let's get those stats up and get 10 all around. Uh, Baron puts 50 on F. He wants that library. Uh, Mastodon puts uh, one on C. Get the aqueduct. The Honest Swede is here. Welcome, Honest Swede. It's been a little bit. How are you? Good to see you again. Uh, King Israel puts 68 on C. <laughs> nice. That should be 69, right? Or didn't register yet. Did you do an exclamation point, King Israel? Kingdom is perfect. Israel puts 19 on F. Oh, okay. This kingdom is doing pretty well. How oh, sweet to have you back. This is over. Oh, over shade. That was bad. <laughs> Oh wow, um, Macedon funded the aqueduct with one gold. Good job, Macedon. And 69 on the library, Baron put 50 on that. <laughs> nice. I am well, good to be storming the castle again. How about you? I'm doing well. Uh, Techno is also here, well, welcome Techno. A bargain, yep, <laughs> a very good bargain. Funny how a peacekeeper is at war. Yeah, we're trying to go for stability, but we're fighting the Ashmead. Oh. Ash medians. Um, losing ground. Should we do the day of kinship first? The Okanagan Valley is a desert, and Victoria is a rainforest. So they like. Oh, okay. Great last week. That work. Yeah, it's good to see you over. Uh, honestly, <laughs> good one. Things have been doing well. I've been going well for me too. I've been enjoying my my time. I'm happy. Should we do losing ground? It sounds like that's a bad event. Internal peacekeeper. Yeah, we're keeping peace within the kingdom. We're also like beating the destroying Ashmead whenever we can. <laughs> Internal peacekeeping. Nothing wrong with that, yep. <laughs> uh let's do losing ground first i guess gonna rebel the next dynasty run oh. we export prisoners to ashmead bad news your majesty the ashmedian army has mounted a massive counter assault they're pushing our armies back we've already lost some of the territory we've captured what went wrong the empire has an inexhaustible supply of recruits the longer we fight the stronger they'll be my liege, one of our scouts have discovered that the Ashmeans are building a church factory near the border, says the honest Swede. But our army is eight, yeah. Not great. Church factories pump out war golems, giants of clay which are immune to most normal weapons. They can't be allowed to finish their construction or waving or our wavering army will collapse entirely. Okay, we can attack the church factory directly. We have a 70% chance. We can wage economic warfare. 100% trade. We can uh, let it be built. The marshal exaggerates its danger. B sounds good. What is that going to do? Economic warfare? Veto C. Yeah, C is going to get us killed. Embargo time. <laughs> Rise. 
Royal B. We could get more money in the bank. If we get more money, we could probably get use it on other stuff. Or A. I think it's an exaggeration, says Techno. Ignore. <laughs> Should do I have to veto C? C? I'm <laughs> not Techno. Come on. We gotta win the Ashmedian War. Cause we're we're gonna win this. Nope. B. We're going B. I'm gonna do Royal Gamble. We'll get some more money in and maybe we ain't gonna repeat the first Ashmedian War. Yeah, I hope not. Time. There is no time for diplomacy. I mean, after they come to us begging for peace, maybe. We're gonna get them, Ashmedians. We're gonna wage an economic warfare or age economic warfare on them. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how they fund their golems when we take out their trade or whatever. I don't know. How does this work? Economic warfare. I almost forgot about that first war against Ashmedia. Yeah. You were in that war, honestly. I remember that. That didn't go too well. This time we're taking back, you know, we're gonna come back for revenge. Fargo. Golem manufacturer requires a rare type of gemstone, which is the Ashmedian Empire usually buys from Aktesh. But this season, your merchants buy it all up instead, paying five times the usual price. Nice. We did lose a lot of money, but pretty good. The church factory is built, but stands empty, unable to produce the war golems that it would have stomped all over your soldiers. The tide turns back in your favor. Fuck it with you. We just bought all the all the all the gems. Your soldiers are be winning battles again, retaking some of the territory you lost. Nicely done, your Majesty. Without their golems, Ashmeen would be eager to come to terms. Heck yeah, we're doing it. I want to make our own golems. Come on. Uh, day of kinship or debt collection? <laughs> Which do we deal with first? Uh, I don't think debt collection gives us anything, right? It basically just says, you know, we're gonna go to war with you now. Kinship. Debt. Okay. Debt. Debt collection sounds bad, but at least it's tax season. Oh, is it really? Okay, let's do debt collection. We could renegotiate, right? I think if we do total war we win we will win now hopefully do debt collection then party uh delightful to see you oh, where's the grand okay so are we gonna try to extend it will extending it be bad for other stats or should we just say i can't pay one war is fine says overshade <laughs> war against everyone says the honest weed extend says okay well can i extend We'll be granting you another year at the same rate in exchange for a 20% down payment. Oh yeah, we can do that. Alright, uh, here you go. Okay. We'll, we'll extend it for now. We've never lost a war. Yeah, size right. We've never lost a war. Here, we'll extend the debt. We got no money. <laughs> they have kinship. Your Majesty, the day of kinship has arrived. Today, the regions will come together to honor the achievements of Queen Ega, the re Reconciliator. Reconciliator. This will be the best festival the capital has ever seen. Be right back, says Overshade. Okay. All right. We'll wait for you, Overshade. Will your majesty. Maybe. We'll see. Excuse me. Thousands of visitors gather, eager for the glorious spectacle. Many camped out overnight for the best spaces. The streets are lined with stalls selling food from across the kingdom. Your float awaits your majesty. You ascend the steps on your parade float. It is tall as a small college with wider and wider than an elephant. Ten horses wait at the ready to pull it forward. You choose to build a statue of... Let's do... Uh, we could do... Nah, we don't need myself or my predecessors. It's all about you guys. Right? BBB. American Black Friday. Stability. We could go stability. But, you know, I feel like we're cooperating right now. We could go see. Thickness says predecessors. Why do you guys want stability so much? Stab. You want stability? Not C. Why not? <laughs> it's all low. Yeah, I mean, sure it's all low, but it's pretty good fluff, isn't it? Us cooperating, yeah. I mean, it's all about you guys. 
Should we go stability or, you know, go with the lore? Stability, okay. A or B. No one cares about C. You guys don't want to, you know, celebrate you guys cooperating. We just care about the stats. If you do C, we can pet taxi. Just do C for the lull. Oh, no C, no C. No one wants C, okay. We are already happy. Fine, I guess we'll go stability. <laughs> okay. Let's go my predecessors. Techno says C is fine, though. Alright, we'll go B. On the float stands models of your ancestors bearing symbols of their reigns. Swords, scepters, and books. You take your place out in front. I'm not happy, lol. Says King Israel. <laughs> You're the one guy in the counts that is not happy. Can we play paradox games? We want numbers. <laughs> I like numbers going up. That's why I play strategy games. I like seeing the numbers go up and increase. Uh, the horse drives forward, and the crowd crowd roars in excitement, clapping and cheering and throwing rose petals. You could get used to this. As you make your way around the capital, the other floats follow in your wake. The marcher float looks like a forest growing up from a mountainside. Upon it, the barons are eating a lavish feast. Occasionally, the honest Swede. Hey, didn't this happen in the first war, honest Swede? He throws a chicken leg or a ruru well down to a peasant. You don't have cake and spread at the party. Is that why you're upset, King Israel? I like numbers going up and map painting. Yeah, uh, that is that is paradox. Uh, paradox gamer. That's what I like too. Map painting and numbers. I was on the float last time. I'm just pop just that, that popular, I guess. Yeah, on a Swede, honestly, you are. On the eastern float sits the sits a model of the Black Spire, the tower originally built by Queen Zena. A techno stand and the other cape counts stand around it, each holding a flaming torch. None of them look particularly festive. <laughs> okay. The coastal float is a singular crest of an ocean wave. I and the other patricians are dressed in shimmering chiffon and shiny brocade. Mass dripping with jewels, the whole thing glitters into the sunshine. I guess I'm a little happy then, says game. The religious thing for us is techno. <laughs> yeah. I like numbers. By the time your parade reaches the lush gardens of St. Sinra's Park, or Sinra's Park, it's sunset. Towering bonfires banish the dusk. The eagle on my crest is from Ashwinian breed. My great great grandfather was also famous for hunting with such an eagle. Oh, yeah, I think I remember that, right? There's something about an eagle. Drink, drink, drink. Yes. Um, do we get a lot of drinks? Might as well, right? Wine, 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 wine. <laughs> drink many drinks, says King Israel. We will drink many drinks. Wine time. He brings you back an entire tray of wine bottles. The rest of the night is a little hazy. The next thing you know, morning sun... Sunlight is burning through your eyelids as you wake near the parade fall. A model of your great grandparent is staring right at you. <laughs> My god, what happened? Or ugh, or am I dead? My god, what happened? Nearby, Psy picks themselves up from the wreck of a coastal fleet float. By sea and storm, what a night! Uh, do I remember geese? Remember getting into a fight? Did I break something? I think these three will lead to like fluff text. I did geese once before break. Hopefully it is all fluff and nothing important breaks. Did I break something? <laughs> you broke off a piece of the marcher float and threw it in the Orvinal Lake, my liege. <laughs> Honestly, he said. I remember that. I remember now. It was, that was brilliant, says Sai. You drag yourself back to the palace where you enjoy a long, luxurious snooze. The barons are asking you to apologize for behavior during the Day of Kinship. It caused quite a stir. But noble Patrician Sai says you were just throwing yourself into the festivities and you did nothing wrong. Um, I can't send a gift to apologize. <laughs> Say I, I was just letting my hair down. I sent a token apology. Here, I'll apologize for being the best queen ever. D D D D D. Best queen ever, man. <laughs> you did nothing wrong. <laughs> sure, I'll apologize. Being the best queen ever, guys. Lols, okay. 
Several of the other barons join the grumbling, but you rise above the whole thing and regain your dignity. It's the true meaning of the day of kinship. Heck yeah. <laughs> okay. We did D for the lulls. Uh, end season. Inviting a demon. A count rides to a remote, unremarkable spot. Oh. Kerbins is raiding. Welcome, Kerbins. How are you? Thank y'all for raiding. I appreciate it. Oh, Pufferfish Slayer. Hello, how are you? Welcome. Welcome, raiders. Good day. Uh, a count rides to a remote, unremarkable spot of moorland. Soon, another joins him. Here's Salandra. Uh, blood and stars. It's too dangerous to make a move against the queen with a church so influential. The count's aim is to lower their faith to four or less. That, that one hooker. Welcome, how are you? You are a, let's see what you are. You are a baron. Welcome, that one hooker. Good to have you. Interesting name. At Dingy Seaside Tavern, two partitions of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. We are currently about to be in two wars. Oh, I hope I hope not, but kind of. Yeah. We're fighting the Ashmedes, and we're doing pretty well for ourselves. Uh, victory after victory, really. Um... Okay. Uh, the treasury is practically empty. The queen is struggling to fund her ambitions. We're perfectly placed to offer her a loan. No helpful to us, it's just in the end. We have 10 navy. Lots of military. Indeed, these loan agreements will be as friendly as a bear trap, absolutely loaded with hidden catches in the small print. Now watch me work my magic. Urbans is raiding again, <laughs> I think. With two people. I barred the Ashmedian forts. Kareth will stand zero chance against us. Yes, I hope so. Uh, good evening, Lord Patrician. What exactly is the purpose of this meeting? More. Yes, so. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, Baron's here. I heard about the Queen's recent money troubles, and I thought we could both benefit. Sign here and here. The Patricians are giving me some money. Uh, this agreement does seem fair. Very well, I'll sign. More people for her chaos. It is very chaotic right now. The queen will be pleased. Good night, Lord Patrician. May the ninth bless you. So uh, the Patricians gave us a loan, or just two thousand um, dollars. Nice, pretty good. Good roll, King Israel. Nineteen. Uh, you see, easy as pie. But it's not enough to bankroll the queen. The rest of the kingdom must be in debt to us as well. To advance their scheme, the Patricians must have the highest trade in all regions by three seasons. Um. Eternelli. Is that how you say your name? You can tell me how to say it in chat. Welcome. I appreciate you joining. Must have the highest trade in all regions. The Patricians currently have trade six, so they need to up it up a little bit. Martinelli. I don't think that's how you say your name, so you can tell me how to say it in chat. You are a count. Welcome. Okay, how should we do money? I think we do uh, just a regular common tax. I don't think we need a lot of money, do we? Counts is the poorest here. The counts are kind of poor. Cruel all oh, is massive. And we don't want our cruel all, really. Another war coming. Yeah, that's true. Thanks. Just eight is fine. Okay, eight. I'll try to remember eight. Thank you for joining. Or we can repay it. We can repay the loan. How about we just sick Ashweed and Curse? Why did can we do that? Tax East for the lulls. <laughs> <That's, coughs> excuse me. I mean, we could. Do we want to do a cruel? Who wants to be cruel here? Does anyone want to get cruel? Cruel alls. Uh, Macedon, I understand. Yes, me. Macedon, where are you again? Your count. I guess I can cruel the counts if the counts are fine with that. That's peace with Ashmead and war with Kurth. Oh, I kind of agree with Techno here. It's all... <laughs> Spell, I need to bribe me. King <laughs> Izzy, you want to bribe? <laughs> What'd that leave me with? King Israel. <laughs> cool. I'd be willing to bribe King Israel. We're not We're not necessarily here to win. That one hooker. The Barons have plenty of monies. That is true. The Barons do have a lot of money. 
I just want to note the treaty with the Ashmead could get us a lot of money. On a Swede, you're right. We don't have to do that, because if we win the war... Need money. Okay, I'm going to give money to King Israel because we need, we need some money for cake and Sprite. We'll do that. I'm fine with that. Let's go. We're loyals. One hooker. What are you doing? Yeah. Well, what do you mean? You want me to bribe you or cruel you? Got one hookers. What spelled attacks all cruel? <laughs> Come on, I'm running a kingdom here. I'm not going to tax the people too crazily. Well, be cool to us, daddy. Okay, nah. Nah, I'm good. We're going to just do this. This is fine. <laughs> um, Towering vines. We do that or seeking a truce? Haha. <laughs> Which one should we do? Uh, seeking a Truce or Towering Vines, guys? Towering Vines, I think, is a continuation of um, the Royal Ivy plant thing we did. Vines. Okay, we'll do Vines. Uh, Baron Bread is here. Our ro lovely Royal vi Ivory is full <laughs> Sorry, I'm not saying words. Uh, our Royal Ivy is flourishing, which is wonderful, but a few naysayers are concerned. Which is ridiculous. The vegetation only swallowed a few villages. It's perfectly fine. Right. Uh, we can let the royal ivy flourish, or we can let the order the marchers to manage its growth. So farming is going to be really good here. Or we can take that stability chance. Go B. Yeah, I think B sounds pretty good. I'll put a royal gamble on B if that's fine. To get some money in, back into the in, back into the bank. I think B sounds fine to me. Techno says A. He wants that 90%. He wants the X comment, maybe. Okay. I'll let you guys choose. Um, B sounds good. I think the marchers can manage the growth pretty well. I trust him. I like IV, says Techno. Yeah. <laughs> well, just because you like it doesn't mean you have to let it flourish. We can let it, we can manage the growth. Hey, it, look, it looks pretty, looks like we're going B. Voting is closed. Order the marcher farmers to manage its growth. The farmers of the march try to keep the royal ivy in check. It's hard work, but with the scent from the blooms causing Europha and then exhaustion, but the swamps uh, the swamps of stuff are under control, for now at least. Okay, succeeded. Farming can't go any higher. Cool. Hopefully we get a better event from that next time. Um, uh, I guess air, and then seeking, or seeking a truce. No, I don't think they affect each other, right? Hope you're happy, <laughs> Techno. You're not angry about that, are you? Come on. Let's let's do seeking a truce first, because air might get people upset. Because I'm technically not married, right? Yeah, let's do truce first. Your Majesty, an Ash the Ashmedian ambassador is here. He is willing to negotiate terms of the truce. We got nothing. We didn't get nothing, or we did. We didn't lose anything though. Techno is the real thing. I'm happy about not losing. You've made your point, Warmogger. What will it take to achieve peace between us? Is it worth pursuing peace, Marshal? The Marshal takes you aside beyond the ambassador's earshot. The kingdom's armies are stretched to the breaking point, and Ashmead still hasn't shown their true power. We're lucky that the Ashmedian citizens are demanding an end to this war. The, the Empire has endless manpower still in reserve. Let's not push our luck. Bruce says Techno. What does the Barons think of this? We got them on the ropes. Let's march all the way to Ashmi and give them a hiding, says that one hooker. Sounds like a matter for the council. Listen to the marshal. We'll think about it. We'll see. We value the lives of your citizens. Bring this messy affair to an end. We can say... We can force the ambassador to concede land near the march. We can demand that Ashmi pays immense tribute. Or we can be forgiving. Or we can say, no peace. Welcome to the forever war. Marshal speaks more truce. Should we do B, um, ask for tribute? Should we do A, get that land? 
go A. We could we could use some land. Get an up trade. Annex. B sounds good. We're not being forgiven, Techno. No. <laughs> I think we should go A. No. B? No B? Okay, we don't have to go B. Go B. You want, you want to go B over Shade? What? Does this increase the trade in farming for all the regions? A. Come on. A and B guarantee war in the future. I mean, yeah. And we're going to win that war in the future, Techno. It's just going to get our kingdom to be even better. I don't see your point. C is the most sensible. I think being forgiving is going to guarantee war in the future, too. We, mostly the march, get more from B. Do you? Like what? I mean, you're not going to get anything from A, I guess. A only affects the march. Really? You're kidding me. Uh, so only B? Okay, we'll do, do B then, or whatever you guys want. We need to prepare with the word and curse anyways. That is true. Money would help with that. The monarch gets money. I do like money. A one hooker is going D. Techno says B for giving. People are kind of split on A and B. B is good money. We'll see. I'm sweet is going B as well. Hey. Um, <laughs> King Israel went A. Uh, do we have anyone? Any more people that wants to vote? Any more people? Otherwise, I'm going to have to break it. I guess I'll have to break the tiebreaker. Um, B lets you repay the tax. That is true, Overshade. We can repay the tax. We need to do it. Do we want to... You want me to decide, or should we have a duel and chat for it? Yeah, but D, though. <laughs> Um, not tax loan. Yeah, that's true, the loan. Techno says A. I didn't vote B just to back down against Kurth. You want money or money? I want money. I do want money. <laughs> I'm thinking B. B sounds the nicest. We'll get that money, we'll repay off our loan. Or we could even go to war with Kurth and keep the money, you know? Is anyone going to object if I go B? Anyone really care? B for the money, A for the nada. Or nada? Or nada. Let's do B. Alright, just a casual businessman says let's do B. So he, he's switching his vote. I'll go with I'll go with B. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, I understand what you mean. There's nothing there. We wouldn't get anything from A. Your, counselor, your chancellor unfurls a scroll so long they could have comfortably used it as a hammock. You and the ambassador both sign the dotted line, just like that, the war is over. Um, first order of business, of course, is the tribute. Ashmead sends dozens of wagon loads of gold to the vaults in both you and the barons. Okay. After news of your victory spreads across the kingdom, you're a hero. Even the nobles can't deny that you did a good job. You took on the kingdom's oldest and most powerful enemy and won. So we got tons of money now, and some of the baron's wealth has increased. No, says that one. Okay, aw. But there are whispers that you should have pressed your advantage. Authority is now tyrannical. Stability is now serene. Defiance can't go any lower. Suck on that. Aw, I feel bad. Here's the honest Swede. We could have taken Ashmean's capital if the queen had just a little bit more spine, said the march. Listen, you guys got money from it. Complain. About that air, actually. We need to start another war. We can start another war. Of course, your majesty refuses to get married against my advice. There's one thing you're missing, however. Something even more important than the spouse and the heir. I think we didn't continue. We'll empty without one. <laughs> Don't worry, hooker. We'll get one. Banner's got to complain, hey. At least they're letting their uh, opinions be known. You need someone young whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the trick even if they're a bastard. The youngest of your many cousins. Okay, uh, we can do bastard childs 
youngest cousin or adopt a lowborn. I think youngest cousin is like the best option, right? Do we want to do something fun today? Or no? If we do lowborn, that's going to decrease our authority and stability, but I'm willing to take the hit. We've learned our lesson from the last time. I didn't return from Talon just to have the kingdom fall again. <laughs> just a casual businessman says cousin. Says overshade. So we're going to go cousin? Lowborn says techno. Cares about the high uh, person who's born at, says that on hooker. Yeah, you're right, on hooker. Who cares? No, I'm not even going to care. I'm just going to let my cousin do it. Right? Or do you guys want to do lowborn? Smart thing would do cousin. We nobles do, says Overshade. I think I agree with Overshade on this one. And just a casual businessman. Cousin seems like the safest option. I think that'll be the best. Cousin. Of course, entirely sensible idea. I will make the arrangements at once. But the orphan, <laughs> the orphan will be fine. He'll just hang out in his orphanage and do lowborn orphan stuff or whatever. I don't know. Uh, don't want any of these. Is that the reason we build towers? I never knew. <laughs> A fishy wedding? A kraken? Devotees of the leaves? What is happening? Kraken? You want to do kraken? Let's do kraken. We haven't been in the, the coast in a little bit. Here's Justinian. A Kraken, a real life, honest to ninth Kraken. Just outside my harbor off the western shore. Uh, here's Sai. We should send our navy to subdue the beast at once. A Kraken has every advantage in the sea battle, your majesty. Perhaps a lighter touch is preferred. Let's say a Kraken can be appeased by offering of living creatures. We've offered before. But, let's see, the High Inquisitor says, heretical nonsense, you can't be considering this, your majesty. We can send in the Patrician's Navy. Do, you want to, do we want to kill Kraken? We've, we haven't done that before, yet. Techno says offering. We could do an offering. No, wait, no, our chances are bad. <laughs> no, 40%? Not on the coast. Uh, let it be, I think, sending the Navy in. Seduce the Kraken. <laughs> How do I seduce the Kraken? I'll seduce it with guns. War. We can declare war on the Kraken. But a, a royal gamble on A. You want to declare war on the on the Kraken? Kill it. Declare war on the C. Oriad. B. Hooker. Appeasement. Why do you guys want to go appeasement? B. Forty percent. Why don't we just want to kill it? You know. Don't pick the option that has lower chance. We're all in this together, guys. We want to kill the Kraken. Rest on says A. I'll let you guys choose. I think A. A feels fun. I've never done it before. I've never killed the Kraken. Killing is bad. Did you say that after the Ashmedian War we were just in? Killing's bad. What? These one didn't save the checks. Yeah. Oh, that's... that's no... Build octopus to go. Just give them what they want. These might work. Uh, the Kraken is an endangered species. Well, it's about to be an extinct species. Uh, so we won't have to worry about it being endangered anymore. It's in the Patrician's Navy. The Navy takes to the sea after the Kraken. A terrible battle ensues, and the creature inflicts heavy losses before sinking stone dead beneath the waves. Yay! Military is now mighty, so military went down, you monsters. The patricians interpret the victory as a sign of the ninth god's direct intervention. They celebrate, ironically enough, with a number of debaucherous parties. Oh, okay. Faith is now fanatical. What? Amazing. You got ten faith in the, the coast. Mine time. Our seafood. Oh, man, I want to eat some kraken. Oh, it sunk. Oh, the kraken sunk. No, I wanted to eat kraken. Host is drenched with blood for nothing. Well, they have faith, though. I mean, they have that. Yeah, ten in one thing. A fishy wedding. Your Majesty, the Duke, or the Archduke of Sal has invited you to his forthcoming wedding. Your attendance would help shore up relations between our two great... Do we go to war with Sal? 
That's worse than nothing. Eh. Maybe. I don't necessarily disagree with you. War of Sal? Did I say more? Curse the weddings is overshade. Just below a great nation, the Isles of Sal is nothing more than a nest of pirates and cutthroats, says Baron. It is his fourth wedding! Yeah, that dude. He's been on a roll. And I heard it's not even a proper marriage anyway. The Archduke is marrying a fish. <laughs> Grim is a finfolk, one of the denizens of the sea. Uh, perfectly sapient and actually amphibious. Can we war with Sal? I think we can like try to steal that island, right? The other game, there is no god. This one, to all who does not have our god. Yeah, basically Justinian. <laughs> we used to have zero faith in all of them. Now we're trying to get, you know, we're crusaders. I'm down for this. We can't. It's a short war, though. All right, that's fine. We can marry the Finfolk. I want to marry uh, Oriid, Ori though. Report the wedding, says Techno. Here, the Archduke needs to be 60 plus years old. Church doesn't agree with the man marrying the fish. We mustn't legitimize this farce by allowing the queen to attend. Um, we can condemn it. It'll increase our faith. You want to condemn it? They will lower defiance too. Yeah, I think we should just condemn it, right? We want good relations with Saul for our war with Kurt, says Techno. Why not just declare war on both of them? Techno says A. Go to the wedding. We could hurt Sal was fast boats. Can we steal their boats? Probably not, but condemn! I say condemn. Um I'm I'm saying see guys. Let's get that faith up. Maybe we can get ten. <laughs> what choice leads to a deck double deck relation of war? I don't know. Uh Mastodon Master Don goes A. Uh eight goes A. Techno goes A. What does everyone else think? They're lowering faith, guys. Not cool. <laughs> I go C. Uh, so it's just a casual businessman. A two-front war never hurt anyone. Yeah, it just ends, right? Sting is going to go B. Not a sweet is going A. Uh, Overshade? One hooker is also going C. What's your opinion, Overshade? Uh, you did a space with your boat. Flying a little close to the sun. We just won a war. We could win it again. We can win another one. War, war, war! Play. Continue. I'm gonna pick C. I'm not gonna pick A. I'm not gonna attend that farce of a wedding. Can't marry a fish. I'm gonna get the faith. Go C for faith, yeah. I'm gonna agree with Overshade. Techno says A, please. I'm not gonna go A. King Israel wants A too. Why do you want A, King Israel? Yes. But the fish... <laughs> no, we're just saying we're not gonna attend it. Right? We're gonna cut diplomatic ties. There's another event after this that I think we can like negotiate with the fish. Or does this completely get rid of it? Oriad. We're gonna go with Oriad. On my plate. Get more land. We can get more land through C, right? Good relations with Saul. Okay, give her. We can decide it by a duel in the chat. I'm really going for the 10 stats, though. Does anyone want to duel in the chat? Fish giver. Because <laughs> we could just roll the dice, and whoever gets the highest dice throw, I'll, I'll decide who. Uh, King Israel, would you roll a dice? We're not going to do the duel thing, because the duel slowed down the stream last time for some reason. We don't need that many enemies. You can audition after this. Uh, maybe. Uh, do exclamation point, lowercase roll, all the way, d20. Um, Macedon got 8, 16. Okay, you guys are just all rolling. I need, like, a representative. <laughs> for the fish people, for the fish lovers. <laughs> Just go see. I'm gonna go see. We can condemn this wedding. I don't. We need that faith. That's what I'm thinking right now, guys. 
I'll roll for fish lovers. Roll for the fish lovers, Hooker. The man has married four fish folk. What is he even doing? I agree with Sai. Nah, never mind. I don't care for fish, man. I'm going C. Your Majesty, I must protest in the strongest terms. Quite apart from being simply rude, this will inflame tensions between... Quiet, you! The council has spoken! Uh, you send an angry letter to the Archduke of Sal, decrying the marriage as blasphemous and icky. <laughs> it's icky! Gross, you married fish person! The patricians are happy with your firm stance, and the church sings your praises. Heck yeah. Only pets faith. Oh, well. Well... They can be the most faithful people in the country, I guess. Gross fish. Here's bread. Your Majesty, it is a disaster. After we uh, called the Royal Ivy, some misguided souls have been set up camp in the remaining patches. They say it's unjust to destroy it. Okay. Who's... <laughs> okay. And it can be kept in check as long as they feed it. A goat every now and then. They call it their home now. It's gonna eat them. Fish people rights are human rights. They do not have rights. They are not people. They may be sentient, but can't live on the land, right? I don't see any on land. Okay, we can remove them by force. Get alchemists to smoke them out. Leave them alone. They're not doing anything wrong. What do the marches marchies want to do with this? I think they have a mud wizard. What? Mud wizard? C is fine. Leave them alone. They're not doing anything wrong. That's gonna lower stats. <laughs> My goal. My goal is to get a perfect kingdom. I like that 100%. I do too, on a Swede. Let's see, I love Ivy. Who are these uh, ramble rousers trying to destroy my kingdom? They're siding with the hippies. Do I have to be like. Killing goats? <laughs> no. Yeah, they're killing goats! It is right! The mud wizard is a reference to a real pro. There's a mud wizard. What? A reference to a real protest? Really? Okay. I'm not- I'm getting rid of C. I'm gonna be tyrannical. We're gonna make this kingdom into a utopia. We're gonna get, snuff out these hippies. But the ivy- the ivy will still live. We're just making sure, you know, it's managed. Yeah, Germany. Really? I didn't know that. Mud wizard. Interesting. Get the alchemist to smoke them out. It's a peaceful route, too. We're basically using tear gas or whatever. I don't know. I guess that's not that peaceful, is it? Our kingdom is becoming a, a bit split. Um, I'll wait a little bit. A lot of the story is based on history. A lot of the story is based on history, really. That's kind of cool. Okay, it seems like people are going to be chemical warfare. All right. Only one thing worse than a fish wedding. Plant enthusiast. <laughs> yeah. I agree with you on a Swede. The marcher barons hire alchemists who whip up a vast amount of non-toxic but irritating smoke. It's success. Defiance is now cordial and uh, stability can't go any higher. It works tremendously. The villagers sheepishly return to their homes, coughing and claiming that the royal ivy influenced them into moving into its territory. Oh. The royal ivy. It's messing with them. Spicy wind. Vegans. As for the royal ivy, now that it now that people aren't living in it. The barons can carry on cutting it back. It takes some doing, but soon it's little more than a cautionary folktale. I call it tear gas, says Overshade. You're a genius. You invented tear gas. Boo. <laughs> okay. Um, patricians want to lower their stuff. Uh, the counts want to lower their faith. I'm not sure if they're going to do that. Too. Oh, no. The patricians want to raise their trade to the highest, right? The highest trade. I kind of want high trade, too. I do love me some protesters, says Overshade. <laughs> uh, the rewards for prosperity. Oh, let's look at this. The torture. Oh, geez. Spicy wind equals mustard gas. Really? We're, we just mustard gas them. Just sitting here fighting wars. We're doing great. Uh, here's King Israel, the main character. Your Majesty, merchants are visiting the east as far far from as far afield as Valdemir and Atesh. Atesh, sorry, I can't say. Uh, our quarterly figures are stunning. We are quarterly what? Money, and lots and lots of money. Ah, uh, money. Your Highness, this Eastern e economist has an audacious idea for this wealth. Excuse me. Ooh, more money, I like money. 
Well, an experiment. We give the peasants gold whether that whether or not they're working. This will ensure a base level of comfort and security for all. Seventh, take us, says King Isla. What are you saying? That we should just hand out cash for nothing? With respect, how is that different from the counts receiving fees from their serfs? It's completely different. Your Highness, this lunacy cannot be considered. Let's look at the stat benefits first. <laughs> So this raises farming and trade. If we met this economic strategy in the east, farming and trade pretty good. Uh, I support it. Says Techno. I might support it too. Fight everyone abroad and the peasants at home. <laughs> yes, this is really good at fighting people. A looks pretty good. B says encourage merchants from to visit other regions across the kingdom too. That'll raise trade. That's okay. Um, demand a one-time extra tax. Yeah, I don't care for that. Where's the financial summit? Uh, no. A, A or B, I'm good with. A or D. I mean, D is nice. That won't do anything. It just gives people money. So I'm good with D too, but A is nice. B is a beater. I think A sounds good. A is nice. Yeah, I like A. All on A? I'll do some money stuff. Get A. Um, I think that's good. Gamba A. Okay, we're gonna Gamba A. I'm playing Hoi Force, says Justine. Are you? Are you playing the, the, the question at war mod? Or a different one? Oh, money! Economic strategy! Social welfare! Okay, you are. Alright. We're going to A. We're gonna get that economic strategy in the East. We're gonna make the East a utopia. Oh, the republicanism is spreading. <laughs> Usually I'd be against this, but I like the stats. Uh, many counts are furious. Not only that, the other nobles are watch. The other nobles watch anxiously, worried about this outrageous new strategy spreading elsewhere. There's uh, some counts lost money. Counts are really angry. People are angry. The fears are unfolded. Read from at least some of the back breaking work. Oh, sorry, I can't speak. Read from some, from at least some of the back-breaking wearing of how to pay the next meal. The peasants praise the, count and the crown and the council. Farm owners treat their workers better for fear of them leaving to work elsewhere. The sick and infirm no longer have to work themselves to death for coin. The east forces, though the counts give you no credit. Awesome. Look at that. 10, 10. Look at the counts. We're getting really close to getting the, the barons and the counts up to, like, utopia level. Um, Solish Privateers. Your August Majesty, it's terrible. Pirates have been going after our merchant vessels. I'm nearly bankrupt. Oh, jeez, you lost a lot of money, Baron. Oh, no. You had a tin goal. That's my goal. And money. <laughs> yes. I'm glad we're on the same page, Macedon. These are typical Solish tactics, Your Majesty. The Archduke is infuriated by your response to his wedding, and he's getting revenge only in the way he knows how. Piracy. Fortunately, that's only speculation. We have no concrete evidence that these are Salish ships. We can threaten war against Sal. Uh, that'll lower trade. Not fun. And hire privateers our own. Low lower trade. We can send the Royal Navy to patrol the Ghost Sea and protect shipping routes. Sounds good to me. Or we can send a gift of note apology, apology to the Archduke of Sal. We can spend the money. I told you not to anger Sal. We'll see. James Sai didn't lose money. <laughs> Ready the navy, says Anna Swede. Just lower Pot's trade. We will not lower any trade. D, we apologize. D? D is okay. We can stand firm on our stats. We can go C. Good with C. More war. What about we send out the navy and do some, you know, protect. Maybe we'll get some good resources. It might benefit us if we go C. We win that percent chance. Do we XCOM it or do we play it safe and do gift? C or D is my decision. We made a mistake and now we repair. No, we didn't make any mistake, Techno. We're just, you know, what was best interest for the kingdom? I'll let you guys decide. C or D? That's that's what I want. C or D? Spelling C might hurt our military. That is true. That is true. Honestly, it is right. But that's a risk that I think we should be willing to take. 
And one hooker goes A, overshade goes D, so does techno. I understand D. D is safe option. But, you know, we could get some good stuff out of C. We are the scapegoats of this kingdom. <laughs> Didn't you? Learning is closed. Send the Royal Navy to patrol the Ghost Sea. Pick shipping routes. Your navy patrols the Ghost Sea, sinking privateers with E. Soon enough, the chastised uh, Celish stop attacking your ships. Military succeed. Defiance is now loyal. Authority can't go any higher. You hear much later that the Archduke's wedding to the Finfolk is called off amidst some controversy over well hunting. Yeah, they're not getting married. Dude. Never mind. Everything's fine. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Everything's great. I like getting my way. <laughs> I like not being punished for my bad decisions. Oh, let me take a drink real quick. Ah, oh, excuse me. Luck. It is luck. It is luck, Techno. Glub glub. <laughs> a giant glass globe filled with filled to the brim with murky water is wheeled before the council. Its fishbowl contains Lord Patrician Justinian. Justinian. What happened? Suspended in liquid, he pokes his head from above the surface. Dunk him. Uh, your esteemed highness, Glub Glub. A most infuriating circumstance has befallen me, Glub Glub, says Justinian. I can... Uh, good grief, what happened to you? I have been, Glub Glub, uh, cursed by a sea wizard. He inflicted me with these Glub Glub gills, so I can't leave the water for more than a couple Glub Glubbing minutes. Not officially at war, but I call that a military victory. I agree on a Swede. Yeah. Get him a towel. I don't think that'll help him over shade. What did you do to anger this wizard? I happen to own a tannery that is glub glub polluting some picturesque beach he likes. How is I supposed to glubbing no? I demand you arrest this maniac and force him to glub remove these gills. Uh, we can send a squad of coastal soldiers to arrest the wizard responsible that'll lower military uh we could send a diplomat to politely ask the wizard to reverse the curse we can close down lord patrician's um justinian's tannery that doesn't sound very good excuse me or we can send the wizard to a hamper of fine cheeses and a bottle of wine what do we do main character or justinian what do you want to do justinian what's your opinion Justinian says A, and send a squad of coastal soldiers. That will lower military, which I do not like. You lower military, trade, or money? I'd rather lower money. Have you got money? Can we just do D? Would that be fine? If we do D? I was AFK, what happened? Um, Justinian got turned into fish man. Or he was given gills, at least, I don't know. Ignis is A, then do B. You want to do B? You go B? Yeah, we can resolve this with money. You can go B. Uh, let's ask the wizard politely. Please, Mr. Wizard, could you help Justinian? He didn't He didn't deserve it. He didn't know. <laughs> he didn't mean to pollute your beach. Um, we, we got money. Please, Mr. Wizard. I'll go B like it okay voting is now closed send a diplomat to politely ask the wizard to reverse the coast or curse soon enough the sea wizard appears before the council as he walks in seawater sloshes at his fleet welling up from the ground itself what do you want from me the scamptron we need you to reverse the curse afflicting lord patrician justinian why would I do a thing like that? His tannery is ruining my favorite beach. I don't curse for nothing. It's, ha it's Hagrid. I can pay a thousand gold. Oh yeah, we can do that. Or I'll order him to shut down the stupid tannery. You know what, Lord Patrician just didn't even stay a fish person for all I care. We can pay the money. That'll be good. Go B, that'll lower trade. Uh, There's a maw that used vanilla nations. Huh? That turns the Equestria at War map, but uses Vanilla Nations. Pat's Defiance is low. Do nothing. I can spend a thousand gold. We have seven thousand. 
There's no reason to... I'll pay the money. I'll pay you a thousand gold. You know, come to think of it, the coast is long and winding, with many hidden beaches. <laughs> okay, that's all it took. The wizard's uh, flesh bulges and ripples and turns suddenly at the water, turning, uh, splashing down into your corridor. He's left you with a quite a cleanup job. Okay, thanks. Lord Patrician, just sitting in, appears in the council hall a few days later, back to his old self, though he has a case of hiccups that persist for several months. He paid for nothing. Well, I mean, why not? I paid not to have defiance raised, Mastodon. There is a strategy here. Because if I didn't pay, defiance would have gone up. Patricians may have gotten upset. I'm sure they may not be able to rebel this game, but still. I got the money. I can spend it. You know, I'd do a solid for Justinian. I don't want him to be a fish man. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, Mastodon. I don't mean... I'm not angry at you. I'm just trying to justify my reasoning to myself, really. Uh, sitting on the beach outside the sun-bleached villa, two patricians of the coast made up to plot their latest scheme. March win incoming? Maybe. We'll see, Overshade. Uh, Baron says, Our profits are down. Our, com our companies are being outcompeted by the damn barons of all people. How could this happen? <laughs> the barons, yeah. The patricians, aim is to the, the, the patricians' aim is to have the highest trade. Okay. Yep. We need some diversity on the council. Yeah, I guess we kind of do. We do have a little bit. I was trying to be inclusive. Oh, okay. No, I understand what you're saying, Acidon. You're right. Uh, I appreciate your, your trying to be inclusive and being able to see other people's point of views. Um, of the fish. Okay. <laughs> Don't try to be inclusive of the fish. They're not people. I says, all in on the pets. Yeah. So I could try to get bring up the trade. Is there a trade thing? Okay. F to bring up trade, which is what we want. We want the patricians to at least have a chance. They want to have the highest trade. So F is what we want. We want more military also. Everything else lowers stats. So really, E and F is what I want. E and F. Yeah, go E and E, e and F. Uh, March and Ghost. E. e and B says Techno. E. Oh, we're military? What the heck? Techno. E and F, I say. Uh, Justine puts 100 on E. Puts 100 on F as well. Thank you, Justinian. Gotta increase those stats. Get them up. Uh, Mastodon puts 400 on B. <laughs> Mastodon, you're not going with my gold at all. Techno puts 200 on B. Uh, Mastodon puts 500 on C. A lower... I mean, that would help in the, the Count's goal. I can understand the reasoning. Why would you want a lower military? And 400 on E. Okay, uh, 700 on B. Uh, okay. It looks like F and B are going to be funded. All right. Um, the Grand Bazaar was funded. Uh, Patrician Justinian put a thousand a hundred in it to increase trade within the Patrician territory. Next thing, Mastodon put a thousand a hundred on the stadium, which lowers the military of the barons. I was trying to get people to spend. What? Why do you want people to spend? <laughs> you want to save their money. You just want. Oh shoot! Debt collection. Oh, we got money. I don't. I'm not afraid. Um, an invitation. Your Majesty, you absolutely must come down to the coast next year and experience the summer games for yourself. Summer games? I love summer games. Says Sai. Or Sai. No, we war. Don't pay him. Okay, we don't have to pay him then. Is the only? It is only the social event that matters. If you aren't in attendance, well, it could sim it would simply be a crime. Tell me more about the summer games. Everyone gets drunk and goes to the arena to watch the gladiators battle it out for the title of Golden Champion. Whoa. Rivers of blood and lakes of wine. Re leave your in inhibitions in the capital, your majesty. Oh, could I say no? So that's like a fun time. Oh, this, simply, this is simply wonderful. It has been so long since a queen attended the games. Last time I recall, they were assassinated. Okay, sigh. Sounds boring, says Techno. There's a risk of assassination, it seems. Not to worry, your majesty. I'm sure it won't happen to you. Uh, oh, I'm kind of scared. 
debt collection. Uh, it's me, Jeff. Welcome, Jeff. How are you? You are a, um... You are a patrician. Welcome, Jeff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Welcome. We're just hanging out and doing some uh, King of the Castle. We're doing pretty good this round, I think. Uh, greetings, Your Majesty. I'm here on the behalf of Salvant and Gaul to collect your the <laughs> collect what we were owed again. If you recall, Your Majesty, you did not actually re fully repay your debt last time I visited the palace. You owe us a grand total of three thousand seven hundred and fifty. <laughs> what should we say? We we have the money, but we could just say I still can't afford it. Should we go to war? Don't pay, says Mastodon. Does anyone else pay it? Just techno. Honestly, I could probably do everything. Uh, or it up. Be greedy. Let's be greedy. <laughs> I can't afford it. Go for four wars. Let's do it. It is not paid to defy Salvant and Gal, Your Majesty. We will return to the public of Kurth and inform the Grand Pensieri that you're refusing to pay your debts. What? Kurth needs money? <laughs> they want money from me. They're not going to have it. Uh, your quest for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council holding a small child in your arms. You're not doing it. Uh, should I die, ask your, that my crown be passed down too? That's hall fills with nervous silence. A Kurth trader who was really convincing. We should just have paid. <laughs> uh, adopted son. Cousin. A civil nobles break out to applause. By the designated heir, you've cemented the stability of the kingdom. Your Serene Highness, here's it's me, Jeff. May I be the first to congratulate you on adopting heir? What's his name? Ashmead, Sal, and now Kurth. Who else wants Sonia? <laughs> Gloria the Second. We're we're doing awesome. Excellent, your esteemed Highness. I'm sure little Gloria the Second will grow up to be a chip off the old block. Congratulations on finding an heir. Now you just need to fulfill your ambition to win the game. Expect a visit from the spymaster soon. Okay. I'm the ambassador from Kurth, and you, you told us not to take the loan, or not to pay off the loan, Justinian. Um, do we have bribe time? People want a party? We're gonna have a party? I think we can afford it. Let's party! Sai says, let's party! Yeah! Remember? Let's party! King Israel says party! Red money. Just a casual business with says party. Okay. Party money for everyone. Cool. Rastodon, we're gonna go party. I'm sorry. More more money. We're gonna party. Never mind. Don't pick Earth. Okay. Cool me, please. I'm sorry, just Master Don. People want party. King Israel needs that money to buy Sprite and Cake for the council. Heck yeah. Party time, guys. Do pay Earth. Uh Trade War. Look at that. Oh. Your Majesty, the Republic of Kurth have levy levied extreme trade sanctions against us for our perceived crimes against them. Notably, your inability to repay a loan from Salvant and Gal Bank. Okay, trade has decreased. No good. What can we do about it? Not for the Council to decide. The Kurth, Kurth must also be suffering from this, but we can't afford to wait them out. Our people will soon run out of basic necessities. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, we can escalate the trade war by raising tariffs and Kurth goods. For Nope. We can't do that because we went to war. That's funny. Uh, lower tariffs offer exclusive trade routes to Kurthos concessions to the Navy. Ah, let's do D. D. D, 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 D. Uh, let's do a call for unity on D, if that's fine with y'all. If only we had been forgiving. No. If we do D, we can, we can get our goods back. We can get those tins up. C says techno. More money and big ships. No. D sounds best. I think D will eventually allow us to get back our um, trade and stuff and increase. It's like a general increase if we do D. And we'll get our military back. Concede war is bad. Techno, we just won the Ash Median War. We got huge gains from that. You can't tell me war is bad. I'm not convinced. So far, from my experience, war has been great. <laughs> I think D is the best. 
Three war achievements. Yeah, I agree with Macedon here. Don't do D. To keep my job, I have to say that. <laughs> okay, thanks, Justinian, for your input. Cost of plenty of likes. We are we are so close. Close to what? Three wars. Well, let's go. Let's go D. A is not going to go to war. It's just going to kill us. You've drenched the continent in blood. And I will do it again. I will do it. I'm going to get rid of three wars and an achievement. It is an achievement, I think. Let's go D then, right? A is not going to... A is a trade war. It's not a real war. And it's going to kill the kingdom. Vito sees this king as hell. C doesn't seem too bad. I'm not going to lose anything if I... We could lower trade. I mean, concessions doesn't seem that bad. As, as war-hungry as I am, I, I care more about stats than I care about war. That's my goal. I'm thinking videoing, videoing A and either choose between C and D. Go D. I agree with Overshade here. Let's go D. D is just the funner option. It's going to tank our military a little bit, but we're, we'll make gains again. We'll have to. <laughs> I say that, and then we're going to lose. And it's going to be bad, but who knows. Never punished. Oh, D's nuts. <laughs> this King Israel. <laughs> Thanks, King Israel. <laughs> My good friends in Kurth won't be happy about this, this Techno. You have friends in Kurth, Techno. Hmm. Suspicious. The navy starts patrolling the ghost sea, intercepting Kurth vessels and taking plunder wherever they can find. Of course, Kurth is uh, quick to respond in kind. The trade war heats up, flaring into open battles on the high seas. Okay, we're going to invent after that later on. An invitation. Oh no! <laughs> just says Justinian. Anyways. Without a word. Uh, Countess 8 hands you a blood red envelope. It is sealed with a white wax in the shape of a skull. Inside is a beautifully written invitation to an event called the Crimson Vigil, due to due to take place on the autumn night of late next year. Okay. What is this all about? Say no more. You must choose whether to accept it or invitation or decline it. I suppose I shall attend it. Remember, don't go into the basement. Wink, wink. Okay, King Israel, I'll, I'll remember. I'll come. I'll come to the event. Man, I'm getting invited to everything. I'm a popular king. Uh... <laughs> Macedon. Is that what's happening in the basement? <laughs> the start of your reign, you said you wanted to be a peacekeeper. Why would you not invite the king? What? You succeeded on that front. The kingdom is peaceful, and you've renowned. <laughs> yeah, the kingdom is peaceful. <laughs> and you're renowned for your mercy and wisdom. Well done, your majesty. I am the best king. But to shut down your noble scheming for good, we need to build on that reputation. Your advisors have some ideas. The common folk are a sleeping giant that even the nobles are afraid to wake. If you become beloved by the peasants, you, the nobles won't dare overthrow you for fear of revolution. Yeah, peaceful. My peaceful rule. Um, on my advice, on the other hand, would be to infiltrate each of the region's lo loyal spies, defeat their schemes with schemes of our own, but the Chancellor has other ideas. We've done Spy Network. We've also done... Um, Raid is really good. I think... Being coming beloved by the common folk seems like the better option. Yeah. we Kingdom Wide Spy Network seems like a, what a despot would do. And we're not a despot. We're, we're a good guy. We're on the good side, right? Go cry if you care so much. Oh. Kingdom is peaceful. Too bad the world doesn't agree. <laughs> Before long, everyone will know of your peaceful ways by force if needed. <laughs> Uh, luckily, I know how to force peace. I'm pretty forceful with my peace. Uh, a wise decision, your majesty. I'll be recruiting town criers about your achievements to the masses. A good guy who causes three wars. Yes, King Israel. Exactly. They were peaceful wars. Your wars have killed so many. Nobody will buy it, says Techno. Listen, man. <laughs> Right, so you'll need some actual achievements. Your priority is to raise the kingdom's stability and overall farming as much as you can. Of course, there can't be open rebellion among the nobles. We were liberating them, yeah. 
from non-peaceful governments. The American way. We brought them peace through war with a sword. <laughs> we shall spread our peaceful ways by force. Villages dead in the streets. Yeah. Listen, there are casualties in peace. I won't say it's not a, ca a bloodless war. Peace is not a bloodless war. It, you might have to shed some blood for peace. Uh, authority? I don't really need it. Okay, we have the ambition, beloved, but let's do <laughs> the war on Kurth. Let's, uh, let's do, yeah, let's do the war. Uh, are we ready for the war on Kurth? Do you have Solaris? I do. D20. <laughs> That's easy to say when someone else's blood. Yeah, right. This is it. Kurth against the kingdom. We've moved past the trade war, and now we're on regular old people war. As if our prophets haven't suffered enough. When is Solaris stream? You want to see if we could do Solaris tomorrow? Can you beat that, lol? <laughs> Wait. We'll see, we'll see. Solaris multiplayer. I bet the council has a plan. We can we can do a multiplayer Solaris tomorrow if you guys want. I have to I have to go mow my friend's lawn today and uh, spray what is it? Rafer bugs as well at our house. So after this, uh, after we finish this game, I think we're going to stop for now. And then we'll come back tomorrow and we'll decide whether or not we want to do King of the Castle, Stellaris. How about that? Is that okay? Would that be fun with y'all or nah? And tomorrow, I, I'd, I'd be up for it tomorrow. I'd like to play it. If you want to play it tomorrow, we can start it. If you're up to it, Overshade. And any, anyone else that wants to join us, I'm, I'm good with it. I'm fine with Stellaris. I like it. I hope the council has a plan. They have cannons on their ships. We have cannons too, right? Who will host it? Uh, I don't have much DLC. You guys can decide if you want. Now, a sweet is follow. Thank you, Anna Sweet. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, we can focus on disrupting cursed trade routes. Raise an armada to destroy cursed ships and force them to surrender. Or back down and offer concessions to the Republic. No. No backing down. I have all the DLCs is just saying, oh, this is freaking B. I like B. I agree with Mastodon here. We're not backing down. We want B. Overshade says go A. Or B. <laughs> he switched his tune. B. Let's raise an armada and destroy cursed, uh, cursed ships. Get that military back up. Yeah. But we don't. I'm going to take L for Unity and we'll go B. That was a typo, says Overshade. Okay. Let's try Thongo, these fools. We need to stop this war before my blood is shed. Come on, war is good for the economy. Let's raise an armada and destroy cursed ships and force them to surrender. Let's do it. Ooh, war. I'm excited. I've never been this excited about war. There is no peace without war. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with King Israel here. You can't have peace without war. Rule Britannia. <laughs> Intensifies as Yeah, honestly. You pour funds into shoring up the Royal Navy, hiring freebooters and enlisting new sailors. But it's now serene. Military is now unbeatable on the coast. British. What hell, Britannia? Uh, the, Armada, the Armada meets Kurth fleet in Stormy Night. Guns and thunder rolls light up the skies. Your beautiful Armada charges straight for the firing line of the enemy. Why 80%? Why not 100? We have 10 military for victory. By the time dawn breaks over the ghost sea, the Republican Navy has been routed. You are victorious. A Kurth diplomat is hastily dispatched to parley. Is this Justinian? Here's Justinian. Your Majesty! The Republic is willing to forgive you for your past tran transgressions. This war is not worth the blood that has been spilt. I agree. The what? Grease the gears of the economy with innocent blood. Is that it? Oh, exactly. Innocent blood is the best grease. Should be helping the Baron's military lol. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Money. Okay, what should we do? Can agree to your terms. We will have peace. Uh, that increased trade. That's pretty good. We will be taking over a portion of your trade routes. That'll also increase trade. Uh, truce only when we have come to the remaining of your navy. That's fun. C sounds good. Yeah, people like C. I will, uh, we will have peace as long as I get... No, we don't need money. C is good. Navy, yeah. Come and do the rest of your navy. I like that. 
No, we don't need the money. We have enough money. We, need the, we don't need the money. We have enough money. Let's get that stats up. Look at these stats. Wow. Our trade is now up. <laughs> That's the only thing that increased. Oh well. Uh, Kurth is powerless to prevent your total appropriation of their warships. The Patrician's Navy is suddenly the most formidable armada in the known world. Heck yeah. yeah I don't need the money. We're going to end the game. We need that. We need that. Stats. Our military is now 13. So sorry. I wish it would be. That was so much money and money carries forward. Does it? Oh, I don't care. We'll make money again. Stats carry forward better. Boo, says Macedon. Okay, fine. Best one ever. <laughs> Trying to get those stats up. That's what I care about. That's the that's the that's the numbers that matter. My <laughs> military sixty nine lols is King Israel. Here's a uh, it's me Jeff. Glorious Your Majesty, with these ships we will be unstoppable. None should dare oppose our iron grip on the high seas. Oh cool. Um, a powerful storm. Let's do that next. Money would have gotten stats up easy, maybe. I mean, you're probably right. Oh, what happened? A terrible storm has struck the east. Lamentably, many houses have been swept away in the floods and roads are totally impassable. You're kidding me. I worked for those stats. Uh, we can spare no expense in rebuilding what was lost. Yeah, I got money. <laughs> we got money. Let's send extra troops from the coast to clear the roads. Nah, that'll lower military. At least we'll have to fend for itself. Or ask the church for relief efforts. Money, money, money. We can do A or D. D is kind of fun, but I like A. We've got money. And I get I can do a royal gamble on A. Should we do A? Money, 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 money. I miss when we had 666 faith back 100 years ago. <laughs> yeah, King is here, right. Techno says D. I'm not entirely opposed with D. But A is pretty good, too. What do you guys think? D or A? A or D? What is the 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 north east, or north what is it? A? I'll let you guys vote. I don't mind. A or D is fine with me. You guys want to go D and that's fine. I go E. Okay. A or D? I don't mind. I'm gonna count D. Okay, the counts want D it seems. King Israel wants A though. Casual businessman goes D. I guess A. Council's kind of split on this. I just hope the church does good. If church doesn't do good, I'd be sad. Um, D. Oh, does anyone else want to vote? Or nah, are we going A? I'll give it two more seconds. Hey, hey, looks like we're going A. I like A. Uh, spare no expense in rebuilding what was lost. Gold flows from your treasury like water from a burst dam. In no time at all, the east roads have been repaired and the houses rebuilt. And if money could bring back the dead, you'd be you'd have done that too. Nice. Nice is now loyal, so they can't go any higher. Trade and farming have gone up a little bit, but not back to where they were. Okay. Uh, ambition, beloved. Your Majesty, the common folk are swayed as easily as a dandelion in gale. I'm confident that we can make them adore you. I already gave the impression with the Eastern experiment where you gave them all that money. <laughs> money. But we need uh, we need more all across the kingdom. This will be the biggest public relations campaign in the kingdom has ever seen. You'll tour the kingdom giving speeches. Town cars will declaim your great deeds from every corner. Uh, can we do things that actually help people? The nobles would never accept it. You'll need to secure your hold on your power. Then you can pass whatever reforms you like. Okay. A few days later, the Chancellor is helping you prepare for your first big speech. Get me my fancy robes. Get the Queen her fancy robes! <laughs> okay. You're hustled out into the palace balcony, below which a sea of expectant and unwashed faces gaze upon you. Um... As you step out into the view, they erupt in cheers. Hats are thrown into the air, some faint with joy. Everywhere you've gone, you've met the same reception. The public like you. They really like you. But you need to turn that into love. Give your speech. 100%. Uh, 
As you launch into your speech, the peasants hang on to your every word. The crowd grows and grows. This queen is more like a conqueror than a peacekeeper. I think you're right just to cash a business, man. I'm just really good at PR. Um, when you wrap up, the peasants cheering is so loud you're nearly knocked over. Oh, well done, your majesty. That went brilliantly. I did it, Chancellor. RNG, please let win. <laughs> I think, nah. 100%. We'll see. Propagandist, basically. You did it. Now let's take the show on the road. Over the next few weeks, you travel all over the kingdom, luring that same speech to packed revenues. Everywhere you go, you're greeted by cheers and applause. Things are going wonderfully. The common folk in the east even want to throw you a surprise banquet to celebrate your achievements. <clears throat> How delightful! This is a sign that you are a true queen of the people, your majesty. This has nothing to do with the nobles. It's all about the ordinary folk, the salt of the earth. I, uh, exactly as I wanted. I'm so glad, your majesty. Okay, <laughs> so it's going to be a farming role. Uh, we're going to wait your invitation. So I could lose here, or I could not get it. After a few weeks, the Chancellor sidles into your office, looking very pleased with themselves. The farming challenge succeeded. Your Majesty, the townsfolk of the East are ready for you to visit. Peasants easily forget the dead with the flowery, ro <laughs> flowery words. That's a good question, Techno. I don't think they have goldfish memory. Uh, GG. Let's see. Your, uh, Your Majesty, the townsfolk of the East are ready for you to visit. I'll wear my best crown! You make your preparations to leave. Although it's meant to be a surprise, you may as well bring some essential luxuries. Um, you step on into the carriage as the Chancellor settles opposite to you, along with Gloria II and his nanny. This is very nice, don't you think? Uh, very nice indeed. Glad you agreed, Your Majesty. Little Gloria II makes the Chancellor play increasingly undignified make-believe games on the journey. Aw, that's cute. You finally arrive in the eastern capital. Everywhere, uh, the people line the streets to hang out windows, cheering your procession. Count Techno stalks up to you and bows, his smile very rigid. Greetings, your grace. How good to see you. Get wrecked, coast and east. Aw, oh, overshade. Don't be too mean. I mean, good job, barons. And good job, us. That's pretty fun. Surprise. Surprise. By the ninth god. I had no idea this was happening. The Eastern Church have decided they support the crown so, so much that they put a party in your honor. Goodness, I'm overcome. <laughs> Will we get the war achievement? Oh, I hope so. We may already gotten it. I don't know if we haven't gotten it yet. GG, Justinian. Thank you, Justinian. You're very supportive this time around. I, I like that. At least the money from our neighbors is nice. That is true. I guess that is quite understandable. It was a surprise for all of us. The voices of praise follow you as you travel to the banquet hall. Townsfolk throw flower petals in your path. Count Techno's face is like thunder. When you enter the banquet hall, the traditional anth or the national anthem strikes up and even more cheering rises. The hall is filled with eastern townsfolk, but there are also common folk from all across the kingdom. Marcher vassals rise their tankards to you, cheering wildly. The chancellor looks stunned. I had no idea everyone uh, had got together for this. Let's party! <laughs> okay, the people are roar in approval. You spend a week in the east, feasting and drinking and eating Ruru Wells with the commoners. But you can't be on holiday forever. Eventually you return to the capital where the council is in session. The nobles are arguing again. Uh, here's that one hooker. By the ninth, we must have coin for the treasury. I found this ancient law stating that the march is entitled to funds for marchers' sporting activities. The personal treasury is full of secret gold from Sal, Ashweed, and Kurt in exchange for voting in their favor. Actually, how is the how is people's money? Overshade has twenty four thousand. Just a casual businessman is at almost nineteen thousand. That's pretty good. Sai has seventeen thousand. Gee, that's a lot too. He's right behind just a casual businessman and Overshade. But honest, sweet, you got some good money too, Baron, and just uh, Justinian also has good money as well. Good job, y'all. King Israel, you're, you're getting back up there. <laughs> what a surprise, I'm the richest. Good job, Overshade. No, we need gold for our businesses. The peasants aren't working hard enough, and we're losing momentum, says Techno. You think back to the gathered peasants, the tradespeople, the merchants, all cheering for you. So many of them cheering for you. Time for a change. I'm bringing the peasants into the council. 
What? Bringing presents to the council? You look. You lock eyes with him. You tell him he's. Uh, you tell. You can tell he's thinking back to the banquet in his town. <laughs> Peasants. <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. Of course. Every, even over a single day, it becomes clear that the nobles are running scared. They have so much support from the ordinary people across the kingdom that nobles now realize how outnumbered they really are. Merchants and peasants rub shoulders with aristocrats in the council sessions, bringing fresh perspective and the concerns of the ordinary people to the throne for the first time. Grumbles, long live the queen knows. Was it really a barren victory then? Oh, I'm sorry, barons. <laughs> the kingdom grows truly harmonious. Harmonious. Even your crown feels lighter on your head when you put it on each morning. Fine with it, but I hate how much they love a butcher like uses techno. All right. Oh man, everything's awesome. Look at that. 10 10 10 across trade. Treasury's good. Your reign stretches out in front of you, full of hope and re ready for a bright future. They cost victory. The monarch is victorious. Excuse me. The barons celebrated their victory, a uh, victory, and glory was venerated as a true hero of the march. But as time went on, some whispered that the barons were losing control of their puppet, as the queen consolidated her power around her heir, Prince Gloria II. Shortly after Queen Gloria's reign ended, the Inquisitions raided Count Mastodon's castle and placed him under arrest for evil magic. As he burned, he screamed the secret name of the seventh god. The partitions failed to turn the kingdom's debts against it, and the moment passed. Ever practical, they sent about collecting interest and hoarding wealth, waiting for the time to scheme once more. It's nice being loved, especially when you're loved by the entire kingdom. Queen Gloria rode a surge of public adoration for another 15 years of carousing, feasting, and popular reform, which were promptly undone after her passing, but the peasants thought it was nice while it lasted. The queens of butcher, what am I, says every shade? Oh. I agree. I did well for myself during my vacation to Talion in 966. I see. Yeah, when Honest Weed left the, during the first Ashmedian War. Fine. Alright. Um, good game. Thank you for playing along, guys. It was three months, or three years and zero months. King Gloria II will be my successor. I had no spouse. I did not marry. Um, the wealthiest noble, Overshade. Good job. Uh, Mastodon was the forest noble. Kingdom. And authority, 10 stability, lots of money. And trade. Uh, farming is pretty good, except for the patricians' farming. Military is doing pretty good. Faith is pretty good. Almost perfection. It's, we're doing pretty good. Count Technostar is later found arrested for accepting bribes from Ashmead, Kurt, and Sal in exchange for voting in their favor. <laughs> Techno, you were, you had your hands in a lot of pies. No, I appreciate you, Techno Stand. I do, I do like, uh, I do like having someone who votes for like other things against the crowd. So you did stand out in that way. I appreciate it. Uh, I think we get the achievement if we need war with Talvin. Ah, oh, really? Okay. Maybe we'll do that next time. Cost one, and by cost I mean my republicanism. Okay. Perfection. Is executed in front of the Eastern Crown. All his assets were seized. Oh, maybe Techno Stand the Second will rise up from the ashes and retake the kingdom in his name or something. I don't know. All right, all right. I'm gonna do. Um, I think that'll be it for today. I need to go do some outside work. <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> I gotta go outside and go mow and then go spray for bugs and I guess just. I guess I'll do more programming on the um, dueling system and maybe find out and search up online to see what causes Twitch to lag behind so much. I'm gonna rebel this kingdom is no, no puppet anymore. Okay, I welcome it. We should do a rebellion next time because we've only had one rebellion so far. So maybe rebellion next time? We'll see. Gotta update the Dynasty slideshow. Oh boy. Maybe. Agreed? Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, thank you for everyone for joining. Thank you, everyone, for being good sport, really. Uh, that was a really good game. GG. I appreciate everyone's input and everyone's, like, role-playing. And uh, Honestly, it was really fun. I, I really enjoyed it. Bye. Thank you, guys, once again. Very fun. Goodbye. Goodbye, Just a Casual Businessman, Justinian, Techno, Overshade, Macedon. It was good having y'all. Uh, I'll see you guys next stream, maybe. See ya, see ya. Have a good day.